<laughs> video didn't render out right. Uh, yeah, that's my bad. Uh, <laughs> what's up, guys? Welcome to uh, Critical Chill. Uh, I hey. guess that's one. A new show. It's kind of a new show. So, um, you know, for people that don't know, usually we have critical builds uh, at least once a month. However, with um, kind of scheduling issues and conflicts, uh, we have to kind of um, move the next episode to the further down, uh, the, more to the end of March. So it's March 27th is the next episode of Critical Builds. So while we wait for that, in between the two episodes, we figured we might as well have like a a more laid back episode, you know, kind of just hang out and build um, and kind of just, uh, yeah, like I said, critically chill. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for hanging out tonight. I see a whole bunch of you over there waiting with the snoozy snooze. I told you it's critical chill. So we just chill. And that's why it was laid back music. However, I did mess up a bit there at the end with the rendering. So that's my bad. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for joining us on this beautiful Saturday evening. Um, and, uh, you know, we are joined tonight by a couple of dudes just hanging out and building. Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and say what's up to them. Uh, starting with this guy. Hi, everybody. Yes, me. Long time no see. What up, man? How's it going, man? Doing well. Um, getting ready to build this beautiful piece of artwork right here. Man, I can't wait. Yeah. Aww. It looks pretty simple enough to. The, the, it you know, is. I was surprising. Absolutely. Simple. But there's a lot of details and a lot of fun stuff. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to paint it this purple that I got right here. That, uh, is that the this purple? The Eva? <laughs> yep. Be beautiful. Be beautiful. Purple. But I'm going to use a, a white primer to bring the purple out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. not, not too muted, not too dark. We'll see. Yeah, man, that'd be awesome. I mean, you know, usually you don't you, you don't see a lot of uh. Well, first of all, I've, I've only seen these maybe snapped up twice. I haven't seen them painted yet, so it'd be interesting to see different colors and, and variations of this thing. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All, all right. right. Well, thank you for joining us, Manny. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be hanging out. So here right. is the next gentleman. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. A little more warm face. What's going on, guys? Uh, I'm back again. I just never leave the internet. Um, no, yeah, permanent, permanent residence. Where else to go? Um, <laughs> working on. Uh, I don't have the fancy kit that all these fine gentlemen have this evening. Um, but uh, I am working on doing some oil rendering on my machine Krieger build, and uh, that's what I'll be doing this evening, hanging out with you guys. Glad to be here. Hell yeah! Also, your camera is beautiful th this evening. What the heck is going on? Like super clear. Sometimes it's good. So oh, I uh, I cleaned the the lens. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, uh, it was I don't, real I don't hazy know. before that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. It's, it's it, you know, it's a lot of oil rendering on that thing on its own. Yeah. Uh, but I don't I don't know if this guy is ready. He's, he's muted. Oh no, he's ready. All right, and then finally we have uh, this guy. I got. Two wild ass children behind me, just barking and biting and jumping all over each other. The playing, man. Yeah. They're, they're having fun. It is, but it's annoying as hell. It's a theme for the evening. <laughs> Welcome uh, to the wonderful world of dog parenting. Yeah, I, I can't wait till she gets a little older and calms down a little bit. It's gonna be nice. No, no, no. You're <laughs> calm, <laughs> just calms down a little bit. You know, you're just gonna miss. Got two years. You're gonna miss this energy. You True. will one hundred percent. You'll miss this energy. Just chill out a little bit. Not want to bite everything in its mother. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the the, right. the teething. I don't. I don't even love. Yeah. But uh, hi, welcome to Critical right. Chills. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to, you're gonna have to make a whole new logo, dude. <laughs> I gotta do something. I mean, it's technically it's it's still technically within the Critical Builds thing because you know it's, it's still us and we're still on the same channel. You know, we're just sure. we're just not doing any kind of critiquing per se. You know, right. I mean, your life. Yeah, we'll just we'll just we'll just yeah we'll we'll critique other things like you know our personalities and and our our oh, no. existences. Oh god, <laughs> oh, god. existentialism. Uh, I'm working on Attack on Man Blade. Before, real quick, real quick. Um, uh, I just want to say uh, again, if you guys didn't hear, uh, Critical Builds episode five. I don't know, I've lost track. Yeah. Five, yeah. Five. Season two, episode five, uh, March twenty seventh, through a special guest, Tex Marquis. So if you guys, you know, 
if you guys do plan that far ahead, please, you know, go ahead and visit. That's a month away. That's four weeks away. Um, you know, uh, we put in your calendars, put in your reminders. Um, you know, that, that, that I think that's going to be a pretty fun episode. Uh, we have yeah. quite a few builds to, to kind of take note and, you know, we haven't really gotten that far yet, but we will. And then, uh, secondly, the, um, the two, the two t-shirts that to me it's a fail and it's all words, baby are available yeah. on, uh, on the store right now. So, uh, if you guys are on YouTube, it's going to be in the description below. If you guys want to check out the store, there's, you know, obviously critical build stickers, hats, uh, Pab's hats, uh, some, uh, some hoodies, some critical build hoodies, and obviously those two shirts. Uh, once the 27th of March, uh, rolls by those t-shirts disappear and they're going to be replaced by new ones. So they're going to be replaced by more sp like, you know, cause the, the two shirts are to me to fail and it's all words, baby are based off of things and, and actions that have been done by, uh, by bro builder and, uh, Mr. Gumplar Ronin. So, you know, obviously the next ones are going to be more directed Attach towards, friend. yeah, towards other hosts. Like Wubba Dub Dub Dub. <laughs> I don't remember anybody ever saying that, but we're gonna we're gonna stick with it. But yeah, show so, me what you got. <laughs> so, what you so yeah, and yeah, that's that's all I wanted to say. So with that, yeah, I'm just gonna switch my camera over and get started. Yep, I would switch my camera over, but uh, I like this. There you go, man. <laughs> In my fat chat. Got their desktop cam going. Mm -hmm. Finally, oh, I can do that. Yeah, thank you, Julio, for the desktop cam. Oh, you're welcome, bro. It took a while. Yeah. Bam. I'm like not even working on the camera. That would do. Yeah, I'm not working on the camera. Oh, damn. There you go. Oh, this like Matt got to work with one hand. <laughs> this matte plastic is really nice. I just started building so? as soon as you started the stream. I said, "Fuck this shit." Like, what do you think of it? What do you think of the quality of the plastic? It, it's it's kind of soft and vinyl-y, like silk. Yeah. The black parts, the black plastic, yeah. especially, right? Yeah. Is I don't know, man. I mean, I think it'll be alright. I think, I mean, yeah. It feels I'm, denser than than uh, Bandai's plastic. Yeah. I've personally never worked on an Orange Cat Industries kit before. I love the black. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Uh, so I think I saw a question a little earlier uh, from, um, from Typhurious. Question, will there ever be a critical rage? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, there will be. Um, it's just going to be... It's just going to be uh, Z and Julio just ranting about random things. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Critical rage happens on a daily. It happens on the daily. You guys just it, don't see it. Yeah, it happens, it, is. <laughs> it happens behind closed doors. Uh, Occasionally, these guys wake up to me on a rampage. Yep, it happens a lot. But um, yeah, if you guys ever want to see it, let us know. <laughs> it ain't pretty. <laughs> it really is. It's isn't. usually followed by a bunch of ugly crying. <laughs> Come from Miami has a question. Uh -oh. Who grabbed my butt? That was me. I'm sorry. No, it was me. Apologies. Oh, it was you too? Damn. Yeah. Okay, I've so grabbed all the cookies from the cookie jar. Two scoops. So, so John Lynn actually has a, uh, a a question. Yes. Can you tell us about this kit a little bit? Oh, there you go. That's a good uh, question, uh, John Lynn. Tekken Man sure Blade Yon series Yon. originated in 1993. <laughs> Please do. I don't know shit about Tekken Man Blade. Oh, yeah, so it's a um, it's a it's so way before this this iteration of it, right? Before this iteration mm -hmm. of of Tekken Man. Um, there was a, a Tekken Man um, from like 1982, yeah, yeah, 80s, something like that, like very early 80s. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, he was a, he was he, his name was essentially Space Knight Tekken Man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and you know, it's it's a it's about this dude who who was technically abducted by aliens, experimented on, kind of like if you think of of, of um, bio armor Gaiva. It's, yeah, it's a very yeah, it's a very similar premise, except it's not as violent and it's not as as gory and gritty. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, and around and around the nineties, um, so the the company that designed and kind of published and produced the show was was Tatsunoku, who uh, if you guys have ever heard of Kasha and Gacha Man, um, mm -hmm. that was like I have their, Kasha. Their, their net, yeah, that was you know that was that was the, the whole thing. Um, mm -hmm. They went ahead and redesigned uh, Tekka Man, uh, made it a little bit more. Uh, kind of more young adult 
story type and and sure. and came out with these beautiful designs. I mean, this one being the main character, right? So yeah. Why is my camera upside down? Son of a bitch. That's just how it goes sometimes. Right? Whatever, it is what it is. Yeah. So um, let's let's do it this way then. There you go. Uh, so yeah, this this beautiful design. I mean, it came out with a whole bunch. There's there's this this guy, Tekka Man Blade, a, aka D Boy. Then you've got Tekka Man Dark, who is more of the main antagonist. Um, and just a whole bunch of different cool designs and and uh, yeah and I mean ever since then he's very rarely showed up in in media. I mean he came out he came he had a cameo in a couple of video games, um, but never he's never had another reboot or another redesign since this one. And um, yeah, like this, just, this design is gorgeous. They're beautiful, beautiful. I don't I don't know who I don't know who designed it, put this one together, but it's phenomenal. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. There you go, John. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, we have a random Gunpla woman saying there's too much sexual tension in this hobby. Oh, you need to jump out of it, dude. If you can't handle the heat, get out the kitchen, man. <laughs> if you can't Spire. handle the heat, get out of the chicken. Uh, and then we got Brandon B saying, I thought Tim was the stripper. Shouldn't he resolve the sexual tension? That's only on Tuesdays, Brandon. Yeah, it's on Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, around midday, Taylor Tot Tuesdays. Up in the corner. Miguel's question. Uh, Miguel has a question. Who are some builders that inspire you guys? Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys answer first. Are we going to do a round robin on that one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Manny. All right. Uh, when I first started, the hobby was uh, I was watching IBO and I got a kit. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me see if anybody does some building. And the first person I see was Child of Mecca. Then it was uh, Justinius. Then Zach Aurelius. Brian, I already knew Whoop. because he kicked my ass in the local hobby Sorry. competition. <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I was just fucking building. And uh, yeah, those are the main guys. Um, then I got into um, Josh, Josh uh, Durara. Joshua Dara. Yeah. Dara, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like his stuff a lot. Um, yeah, basically, it yeah, mostly, you know. White guys, um, <laughs> <laughs> but that's it, really. Yeah. I, I, I can cover the rest my of the bases later, man. Yeah, thank you. Please, <laughs> please continue. Uh, so, uh, for me personally, I mean, I, I've been inspired by a whole bunch of people. Um, probably my biggest inspiration um, would be uh, Soya Huya, uh, Lee Jong Ki from um, from Korea. So I know, I, obviously, you guys see, I'm a, I'm a big clean builder um i mean you know he when he was doing um gunpla mostly uh before he started doing the, the anime figures and stuff like that like he was he was a huge inspiration for me man the guy the guy is very meticulous with his detail um he <laughs> he doesn't hand brush at all everything he everything is masking and painting and and seeing that level of commitment to not holding a a, a paintbrush I was like, yes, that's me. I want to do that. So he was a big inspiration. Another one would be hmm, inspiration. Oh, man, I don't know. I mean, I guess Joshua Dara as well. I mean, you know, he's an OG. He's been around for a very long time. Um, one more guy, uh, Manzla, another Korean builder. Um, he does a lot of open hatch builds. Uh, lots of detail. Again, um, barely, rarely hand, uh, hand brushes, but beautiful, beautiful work. And it's, it's very detailed and, again, very meticulous. That's a that's a for me. Uh, for me, definitely Luca Zampriolo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean that's a given. I don't know uh, that name. He also goes by the name of Calamity. <laughs> I know uh, that name. <laughs> he's uh, that like a friend, no of doubt What's going friend of mine now. Actually, it's pretty cool. Um, nice. And uh, this other guy, uh, Kao Yokoyama. Ooh. He's he's pretty uh pretty influential in in uh, they're both very open to being wildly creative without uh restricting yourself. And I think that's really important. One hundred percent. Pure love. Who are you, Julio? Um, I'm not really inspired by other builders as much as I want to whoop they motherfucking asses. Wow. <laughs> Suck my motherfucking dick. 
Oh, you're, you're at that stage, Julio. I remember so who, when I was Who's that asking you want to whoop? <laughs> everybody. Whooping. Everybody. Okay. Everybody. Everybody here. Everybody out there. I just want to make my models better than your models. Here, <laughs> there, everywhere. <laughs> that, that's all I want. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that, man. You know, you um, no. you're, uh, you're the Seto Kaiba to, uh, to everybody's <laughs> union. <laughs> I'm a third rate builder. Um, who would be a good? I don't know. Off the top of my head, uh, one dude he's fucking jacked and he built. Oh, right um, yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately as soon as he said jacked, I was like, "Yep." How's a yeah. how's a mean? How's a rule? Yeah, yeah. It's fucking cool. He's a Did you guys see that man's Eva build? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was yeah. Pretty interesting. He, incredible. I feel like he's really refined his style right, since his yep. last build. Yeah, so he's, he's very, very good in that small scale, which is amazing because this giant man works with this tiny, tiny scale. I picked this up, I put them down. Yeah, Shit, who else? Mm, I don't know. I, I do enjoy all the builders. I can't front, like, there's a lot of great builders out there. And when I see it, I'm like, oh, that's nice. But most of all, the people who inspire me are the people who are here, my brothers. Yeah. The people are, who are in chat also inspire me. Everybody inspires me in different ways. So you yes. know, I appreciate everybody. Speaking of, man, I want to give uh, huge props to Miguel. His last post on the high noon. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looked great. Looks good, dude. I'm, I'm liking what you're, what you're doing. Uh, my, you might get a critical build set pretty soon. Yeah. From the looks of it. I mean, Z hasn't even started this yet. To me, it's a success. <laughs> Definitely. Right. Uh, so Brandon B says, uh, my first YouTube search for Gundam, I like the Asian guy wearing the Mexican wrestling mask. The luchador mask. Oh, you know what? Uh, Colin, Colin has a good point here. Uh, wherever it was. Here you go. Uh, he's been liking uh, Takashi GP and Ray Studio. Ray Studio is good too. You guys see what he did in his last video? What the fuck was that, man? It was a Cyberpunk City? Yeah, why not? Man, that's 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 crazy. It's yeah, crazy. Inspiration yeah. comes out of anywhere and everywhere. If you got that's inspiration, just do it. You know? Still crazy. Like I said, I'm not an influencer. I like to be an inspirator and just inspire people to just build. And have fun. And I'm the only one with my face on the screen. Here we go. Uh, Chris says, uh, Gunplay Miami, alcohol, hickers, and church inspires me. <laughs> uh, and then Bill, I inspire no one, but I am a great cheerleader. Just don't ask me to see my pom-poms. <laughs> all day, Bill. Nice pom -poms, man. I yeah. love those red pom-poms. Why are they red? You should go see a doctor for that, man. Yeah, right. His little pepperonis. <laughs> I don't know where Julio went. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> he just yeah, making a movie? fucking hit list. Huh? Who? What? What am I making? I said you're making a hit list. Like, all right, this person is going to be next. That person is going to be next. <laughs> like, bang. Um, shit, man. Nah, but. I do feel the competitive tension in the air recently. Yeah. Recently. Yeah. Recently. Oh, like, like after OMC, I didn't feel too much of it. <laughs> and now there's some contests going down. That everybody can. Yeah. What well, contest hey. is that? What? OMC? Not the other one. Oh, the, the clean versus weather. Oh. I, I, there's hundreds of submissions so far. Mm hmm. And I would like to beat everyone. <laughs> cool. Everyone, I want to beat the clean guys. I want to beat the weathered guys all in one fail swoop. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to build a mech that's half clean and half weathered? You can't. It's illegal. Yeah, illegal move. Uh, no, nah, but I, I do want to make something as best as I possibly can. I, I'm excited to make stuff. I think competition brings out the good builder in me. Yeah, it does. Yeah, definitely. That's the positive about about you know being competitive and being. Yeah, I'm with you on that, Julio. Too. Yeah. yeah. 
But there are there are some negatives. Couple. Yeah, Couple. like you smell. You smell real bad because you don't have a shower. <laughs> yeah, take a shower when you go to these fucking compositions, please. Be brief. Word up. And if you have a drink, share it. Also that. Uh, bring for breeze. Definitely bring for breeze. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Remember uh, when you're not looking. <laughs> I went to a I went to a I went to a build up here in uh, Chicago um, a couple of years ago, oh. and. Um, my, I, I brought my wife with me, and you know, we were we were. Uh, we <laughs> she were was early. like, Ew. Well, Ew. we were we were early, right? So we were we were there for a while. It was like a it was a kino Okay. And we were there for a while, and um, you know, we had uh, we had displayed my kid, and you know, we were waiting for them to announce who the winners were and stuff like that. And you know, we were just hanging out, and she was like, "I need to leave." I was like, "Why?" And she was like, "It smells so bad in here, man. Like, Ew, man. it smells like it smells like Coca Cola and farts. I ain't, I'm not ready for this." I was like, she, she, she had to step back. And I was like, "Okay, I get it. I understand. All right. I'll see you outside." Like, this is the smell of my people. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, man. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with that anymore. Okay, so uh, Bill has a question. Uh, what do you guys think of a dumb type suit where the feet have either two or three joints? Would it make sense and be cool or impractical for the hover ability? Um, it depends. If you're trying to make like a heavy, heavy ground assault type, definitely. That'd be cool for like aesthetics, but as far as practicality, I don't think it's worth it. Questions? Uh, anymore? I mean. <laughs> So, yeah, I think it. I think it depends on the scale, right? Um, if a dumb type of suit where the feet have two or three joints. Would it make sense or be cool or impractical? Whatever. I think it would be practical, right? You, you want those jets to be pointing in certain directions to keep it yeah. balanced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I mean, I mean maybe. So, yeah, maybe three I joints. Think. Keep it balanced. Keep it, you know, steady. Yeah, like my my ninja, I could I can make him stand up on just the toes. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I took a picture of it and posted it. Like he could literally stand on one leg on the toes. So it all depends on what look you're trying to go for. You know, I mean, he's a ninja. He has to be fucking balanced. You know, mm -hmm. right? That's why. I still gotta that's, work. That's on got that's got what two joints in the feet? It's the toe joint, and then it has the the arc. The arch section, that's it. And then you have the the ankle that swivels uh, uh, on the y axis, y, well, left to right, and then also the top joint swivels forward and back. You know? mm. So there's like four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six points of articulation. Do you, uh, do you already have a color scheme in mind for this guy? Um, um, uh, all right, so here's what I want to do. He's supposed to be one of the samurais from the Seven Samurais okay. from um, Akira Kurosawa. Okay. And the diorama that I'm doing is he's going to be in color but muted. And everybody else in the diorama, including the diorama, is also going to be, it's all going to be in black and white grayscale. Wow. Okay. You know, so I'm trying cool. to paint a picture, you know. Very cool. Literally I'm, painting a picture, yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing to keep with the whole, like, you know, the history. And then hopefully, GBWC, I'll submit it. So we'll see. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to see that thing done, man. It's going to be cool. It's going to take fucking forever. Yeah, so I'm getting a headache yeah. thinking about it. You got time, it'll take a while, but it'll be worth it. Yeah. Like, I also got to make, like, four different Zaku suits, and I have to make them fit along with the theme. I can't just make them regular Zaku. I got to theme them out. Make him look like heavy tech type. Oh man, a lot of fucking work just to have him you know, disassemble. True. I think you have the the skill to pull it off, man. Uh, just, Pardon. just, I just, you know, it's a drive. That's what it is. Because it's gonna be here. ninja. Ninja takes too long. He, he's taking too long. You know, I started back in freaking. When when, when did we go to the? Oh, uh, the IPMS Julio. <laughs> oh, that was uh, 2018. Yeah, so I started Ninja in June of that year. Oh, 
you know, and then like, Wait, did you guys go to Mosquito Con? No, no, no. We went to the one. Yeah, Replicon. I went to Replicon, the one I didn't go to because I went to Mosquito Con, and everybody else was like, "Yo, you coming to Replicon? It's next weekend." I was like, "Uh, I no, no. no. I just went to this one." Like, you, you could have called me, man, and we would have picked you up. Well, I know that now. <laughs> Now you know. Yo, I don't know how I feel about this uh, this waist joint. It's sturdy. Right. I'm, I'm I'm already like it's sturdy. Uh, it's forward, I don't know how back, I feel about the, side. Like it's it's it's. I mean, it's free, but it's also limited. Makes sense. Like, um, there is some limitation. Um, what I would do is probably either lift it a bit it or there. sand it down, like the the Maybe. front part right here. This part, I would send it into an angle upwards. This way, I have a more forward crunch. But then you got to worry about the clearance right here. Mm, so once, once mm. that piece of out, I'll figure out what to do. Add a whole other joint in there. The more of yeah. that crunch. Mm -hmm. Hey, I do that. Add, add the cockle joint. Mm -hmm. I do that all the time. <laughs> yep. Probably from under this part here. Uh oh. Is that Mama? Yeah, it's Mama. Tell her say hi. I love you. I miss you. <laughs> then she comes back this way. I tell her. Right now, uh, Tosh cooking dinner. Oh sure. So, uh, let's see. Uh, so Brandon B said, "Oh, hold on. Let me let me try to catch up with the chat real quick." Um, mm -hmm. Uh, so Brandon B says, living in Michigan, Jay, about 30 minutes from Detroit, I see a lot of graffiti, graffiti, and most of it is way better looking than what would normally be here. A decayed, faded peeling paint wall or beautiful graffiti. I'd love to see. So John Lynn, if you do like one of like kind of like a, uh, a faded peeling paint wall kind of effect on one of your horrors, that'd be pretty cool. I think. Yeah, so you're seeing a lot better graffiti now because they're hiring people to go out and do stuff that they used to arrest people for. Yep. You all? That's uh, gentrification, my guy. <laughs> like, look, cool, we're cool, we're hip. Yeah. We got all, we got all the minorities that out of the neighborhood. We're cool. <laughs> we still get graffiti. I don't know, man. That gentrification is cool, but it's also bad, man. Price. Yes, price I like Starbucks. Money. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Yo, there's a Starbucks in Coney Island. Yeah. What? Robbed all the time. But... No, it doesn't, man. People respect it. It's fucking really? weird. Respect the bucks. Respect the bucks. We have a Popeyes. Literally, like when you step out of the corner of the station, we have a Popeyes. We have a Taco Bell, Starbucks. We have a Cinnabon coming in. We have this Presto House coming in. It's like, what the hell, man? That's yeah. wild. Well, they're they're building down there too. They're trying to push condos and shit down there. Um, yeah, they're gonna um, get the people that live in and the products out. And they, um, the only way the the loophole is um, as long as they have some floors that are Section Eight. They yeah, they have to have like a certain amount, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's fucking weird. It's and those are the um, floors they don't rent out. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, you always see that. You're like, oh, a lottery's opening up for affordable housing in X fucking building somewhere. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> you, got it. you are 100 percent correct, Brian. We can get that. You can get in there, but uh, you gotta know somebody <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. to get in there. You gotta give somebody money. Like, oh, as they say, coughing with their pockets open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's the kind of update that they do. Like, yeah. <laughs> I got the black lung pop. <laughs> That's nonsense, boy. You're only there for one day. I've been working in these mines for 30 years. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys sound like Prince crying right now? <laughs> when doves cry. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I just always remember the the um, the kiss video when he does the. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it, man. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Kiss. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what a legend. Yeah. That was a genius, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Putting Minnesota genius. on the map. Mm hmm Minnesota. Minnesota. 
You like the mini soda? You guys know who else put Minnesota on the map? Soda? Fucking Brock Lesnar. <laughs> I did Brock not expect that. <laughs> Brock fucking Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. That's a fucking uh shit. Uh, the Venture Brothers? No, 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 no. Brock Lesnar, the wrestler. The wrestler. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of Venture Brothers. UFC. Yeah, I don't know anything about I'm wrestling. Brock. <laughs> yeah, but I'm thinking of Brock. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, I'm, I may be from the Midwest, but I'm definitely not a Midwesterner. Mm-hmm. That's okay. <laughs> I get lost in all that stuff. You're definitely okay. You know, while we're watching monster trucks, I was reading manga in the basement and building scale models. <laughs> yeah, a lot has changed, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. I live on the second floor now. I'm way up in the air. I'm, I'm way up in, way up in the air. <laughs> yeah, so Bill, what what I what I meant was uh the ninja is gonna be a muted grayscale color. So it's gonna be um What's that? Not called tinted. Um, shade. It's a shade. Shade. Yeah. Shade. It's gonna be shaded color. Yeah. I mean, tints are light. It's white, so it would be a tint. Shades yeah. are are gray values or dark tones, and then mm-hmm. tints are light tones, and then hue is a full value color. Uh, yeah. I remember you put that spectrum, uh, that scale up. Was it you or was it? Um, no, I think it was um, the uh, Julio number two. Julio is. Yeah. I no, I, uh, I just talk color theory all the time. It's a very important thing, man. Yeah. Color theory is a very important thing. People tend to forget it whenever they start applying colors to their kids. Mm -hmm. No, I just know what I like, and it tends to work out. I saw this black monstrosity earlier. (laughs) It was black and yellow. What's it got to be about race? It's not about race. You saw me earlier. (laughs) (laughs) Love it. It, it was real bad, man. That was, it's black and yellow, and black and yellow. Not look, black and yellow. <laughs> <Gen X. laughs> Man, it should not look good. What's Khalifa up in this? Yeah, right. It's black and yellow. Just a little drop. Okay. Uh oh. You in trouble, No, he's not in trouble, man. He never in trouble, man. She loves him to death. Maybe a little. <laughs> Uh, my dog likes to <sighs> trinkle uh, pee pee. Yeah, when they get oh. excited, that's what they do. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. They tinkly tinkle. It's just yeah. a baby thing. She's just the a baby. baby. She is a baby. It's just baby. Like when I'm anxious and excited, I have to take a shit. <laughs> it's not on the floor. I run to the bathroom. <laughs> right on. Well, my well, my old boss used to get real stressed. Sometimes he would fart. He was stress fart. <laughs> it's atrocious. Stress on everybody. It's atrocious. <clears throat> I am a stress fart. Like, my whole fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> my life is a stress fart. <laughs> fart my <laughs> life into pieces. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we I, was going for, I was going for Marilyn Manson, but Pabs went way more poppy. Yeah. <laughs> Suffocation. <laughs> Yeah, to be done. <laughs> I think I was doing a little horn, <laughs> but Pab went in two. What's the matter? It's a full pop. Yeah. Whew. So, any more questions from the, the lovely crowd? Uh, let me see. Um, oh, here we go. For so from busy. Steve, uh, Brian is the inspiration for my USA Gundam comp entry. Hey, hey all right. Uh-oh. Glad to hear it, Uh-oh. man. Piece of piece of suck ass, right? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, right. No, suck ass been like Chris Pabs is, is an inspiration for my clean bill. Well, he's weathering, so he's <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rinaldi and Andrew are in here. So, uh, okay, hold on. So let me see here. Um, what am I really? Guy Daigogi says, "Don't remind me of a couple of days ago, please." What, is, what happened a couple of days ago? Uh oh. Tuesday? Yeah. Monday? What happened? Get down weird, so his own asshole. Uh, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah. This is like this brush right here is my is my absolute favorite brush. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's very pretty. 
I got it at I got it at Kinokunia um, back when Paul was out visiting in twenty shit early twenty nineteen. So I remember the it's year. twenty shit. It's like three years ago. I'm trying to remember what year it was. Uh, what was that, Manny? Is that a calligraphy brush? Yes, it is. In fact, mm-hmm. and I use it for all of my oil rendering. I use this one. I have a like a cheapy one that Tamiya sells. This one here, they sell this for like a thousand dollars because it's Tamiya for you. A thousand. And, uh, I have this artificer uh, layer, double uh, mm-hmm. O, right? No, it's the XS. It's the super duper small one. Nice. Um, but I rarely use this one, Citadel brush, but it's a good one. I've had this for a really long time. Um, like one of my first brushes I got, actually. Yeah. But yeah, this was a great little thing. I just got it down in their like, uh, stationary area in uh, Manhattan. Are you like writing your name in the with the brush? Let's see some of the detail. <laughs> I want to see some of the detail. Because you're I'm like, just... I want to see. I'm just like very, very delicately. Ah, I don't, don't. As he spills everything. Yeah. I'm just like very, very delicately adding in. Go, go, get it, zoom. It's a little, it's a little blown out. Let's see if I can get it to focus. I love the streaking that you have coming up the bolts. That's like perfect. It's yeah, just that's scale. the. That's that Abtalon engine grease, and then uh, a couple of different Sienna ochres, and then trying to get some grime and some gunk, make it look like uh, what I know some machine tools to look like if they're a little bit uh, overworked or undercared for. Hey, so it's got question, like some grease and streaking. Question Speed about the, the seat. Yeah. Are you going to add some light colors in there for like um, natural wear, wear and tear on the seat? Uh, I think I'm going to try and I might just keep it oiled. I'm not 100% sure. That'll probably come out when I do, um, when I get into doing those AK um, filters tomorrow. Nice, nice, nice. So I'll be able to add some fun with that. Uh, I still got to paint my little pilot lady. Haven't touched her since I did the fill work on it the other night. Uh, this lady right here. Oh, yeah. But I rebuilt her armpits um, and she looks like a human again. What's wrong with the armpits? What happened? That's where the seams were. So mm-hmm. her arms were just veneers that glued on, and there was this stupid, like, in here, there was this, like, hook that came around of this tiny little bit of plastic that yeah. didn't fit right. It was just bad. And so <clears throat> I uh, well, I just painted her with oil. Um, yeah, so I, I glued it on, and then I uh, did some carving in it with what I had for tools, which was really bad, and then that didn't work out so well so i filled it in with super glue <laughs> and uh then tried to do it again with like gouges and files and stuff like that it didn't work out at all then i got my new david 500 or 550 the david d 550 rotary tool and with the new ball head it took me like 30 seconds to clean it up properly so um God, just get the right tool sometimes <laughs> you want to know something with that with the way she's posed i would like totally like computerize or cyberize her back I have a whole bunch of wires coming out, like the major from uh, Ghost in the Shell. Hmm. That's you know an interesting I mean? concept. Yeah. yeah, I do know what you're saying. Because like, there's um, a lot of real estate on that back for her. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I know. There's so she's all back, honestly. <laughs> um, Baby got back. Baby got yeah. back. <laughs> I think I'm on a. I don't know because of the way she like sits in inside the like. Where that so that pin that comes out of the back of her posterior there, like right where her tailbone would be, mm-hmm. um, that fits into this pinhole. You can see it right there in the center yeah. of the back. And then so she's sitting up on the seat, and she's kind of cup like cupped in the in the seat pretty good. So I don't think I'm going to do much more than just like try and get a good solid flesh tone and and like good uh, camo paint on the BDs she's wearing. All right. I'm not, and plus the deadline is tentatively tomorrow, so. Oh, um, yeah. dang. <laughs> um, don't exactly know. Lincoln was talking about it taking a little, like, allowing a little bit longer time, but um, so I don't know. So, I'm just gonna work on it and see what happens. Better be safe than sorry. Yeah. So a quick translation of what Brian is saying: I ain't got time to fuck around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with that fun stuff. Yeah. He wishes he has time to fuck around. There ain't no time to fuck around. <laughs> so 
So how far along are you guys in the build right now? Uh, second uh, page. Just second. Yeah. I'm still on the first page. I'm just hanging out. I'm trying to keep an eye on the chat, too. Uh, we got Brandon B. that says... Uh, glad I could finally catch one of past streams. Usually doing family shit on Saturdays, but the wife has a friend over with another little one, so the kids are occupied. Oh, Brandon, so this is this this stream is really one off, like a one off kind of not one off. It's like an off stream. Um, we're we're just hanging out in the building right now, so there's no, you know, there's no, yeah, no no critical builds going on right now. It's just it's just us, you know, kind of just shooting the shit. Critically building. Critically building. Uh -huh. Sometimes we need that in our lives a little bit. <clears throat> Damn it. Yeah, you could definitely get this done in a day, a couple hours. Oh, oh yeah. Not this is a copy. very, very straightforward build, man. It's like, it reminds me of, like, a, like I said, the, um, the amplified, like, Digimon line. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, it still has that beautiful separation. But um, it's it's very easy to put together. Like, it's not so good. Like, like, like that uh, MG Thunder Zaku. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> She's so Eventually, mad. I will work on death again. Mm -hmm. Someday. 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 I was thinking about that. I gotta, still got to build a horse. I think she's a, a a German Shepherd or something. Always a little. Oh, you know what? For for the people who was who was watching Mechanism um, last night, uh, first of all, I'm very sorry. <laughs> 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 and then secondly, like people were asking me, but I didn't catch it. Um, but people were asking me where I got this thing from. <laughs> so this is the the PGU add-on. Let me make myself. Bigger, so you can oh see. yeah. yeah, yeah. The PGU add-on for uh, the RX-78 um, Unleashed, uh, which comes with the the big old RPG. Oh, what, what is this thing called again? What? So bazooka? bazooka? Is it Bazooka? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you've got the, the hammer, and then you've got the lance. Yeah. Um, like, very, it's a very, like, massive kit. Like, the, I mean, if you guys saw yesterday, like, that thing was the size of my arm, my forearm. Yeah, um, it's huge. It's very big, um, but you guys can get this from Sabina Sun Designs. If you guys look him up on Facebook, um, he uh, he's also making a, an, an Origins based add on kit for like uh, for the PG Unleashed, so the, the the shoulder cannon and all that stuff. Oh, nice. So oh, nice. Um, yeah, if you guys want to check him out, Sabina Sun Designs. He's U he's UK based, so you know you're prepared to pay out the butt for shipping if you guys do want to pick one up. But um, it's really good. Like the costing is is, is excellent. You see that's worth showing. How much did it cost you, Pabs? Three fifty? Uh, no. <laughs> Pabs got the limey discount. He got the no, three fifty five. Pabs gave him a box of digestives and he said, "Take this shit." Yeah, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> digestives. <laughs> digestives. <laughs> digestives. Oh. Here's like the spikes for the. Uh, here's the spikes for the hammer. Still in wow. this. Wow. Uh, Very nice. Yeah, and then you've got like the yeah, basically, basically uh, how's the the resin on it though? Like, uh, it's it's a chunky boy. I mean, you can see how thick it is right here, and that's that's not hollowed or anything. Like, damn, is it good? Like, is it good quality or is it? Uh... It's yeah, it's great quality, man. Like, um, here's here's something with more detail to like the uh, the rocket launches, um, missiles and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Oh, shit. Beautiful casting, yeah. Pretty nice. And then as I showed you guys yesterday, I can't I can't go through all these tissue this tissue paper right now, but like stuff like the um the hammer with the clear pieces for the uh like put an LED inside. Yeah, great. Really yeah, nice. that's righteous, man. Yeah. If you guys are interested, uh just hit up some MSN designs on Facebook. Sorry. No you problem, dude. It's part of puppies. Those are your yeah. kids, man. Papa life, bruh. Life. You know what? Maybe you'll get a thing like me where she'll end up being like such a big party or shit that someday you'll give away an expensive ass model kit for a random question about her. What? I think I did. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> yep. Okay. Why are you why are you posing like you're in Calvin Klein? Alright, you wearing boxer pieces, okay? 
You're a freak. What are you, Mark Wahlberg? Come on now. <laughs> Logan Logan comes like, for me. like, Daddy, I want a box of beats and like touching his ass. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hi, bro. God, man, my kids, they take after me way too much. I know. They need to calm that shit down. I remember, that's how I met you. Yeah. You came up to me and you were like, you kicked my ass. I'm wearing boxer briefs. And you were like all grabbing on your shit. <laughs> you want to see? Of course. <laughs> he really is your son. <laughs> yeah, right. No, Manny kept being like, yo, we need to go out and get some drinks and go out and get some drinks and shit. And then, like, yeah. I was always so preoccupied with stuff that we never did. And now that we really want to, we can't. <laughs> yeah. What up, Shaq Dolphins? How's it going, man? Um, Shaq? Shaq? Gogi says, Pabs was talking about Z's and Brian's shirt. I said Pabs shirt should say, my diet is resin and digestives. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, so I mean, I already technically have a couple there, like the the critical uh, builds uh, Canada dry inspired hoodie is mine, right? Mm -hmm. um, so definitely you know, need some pineapples on it. We need to get uh, we need to get Julio's and Kyle's out there. So. Yeah, I got to do uh, like a group one. I um I threw I I, I tested one um, for uh, Julio last week. I want to say it was the last week or the week before. This, oh, week? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. this week? This so week. This week? I think so. What do you guys think of that one? I, I like it. it. Yeah, I enjoy it. I like I it. Do not. I, I like it. it. I think we can do better than that. We can find seven. We'll figure it out. They're all dope. Either way. I think cool. so. Yeah. I think uh, I think it reflects um, well for for at least for Brian and Z's right now like it reflects their personalities quite well <laughs> quite well. Yeah, super true. I don't have a face cam, so you can't see my fake shock face. If Kyle's uh, so guy says if Kyle's isn't it's not candy, I'm rejecting it. <laughs> Not candy coat. <laughs> See, Kyle has a few options. He has, yeah. he has a, I mean, everybody has a few options, but you know, like, for, like some are more apparent than others. With Kyle, man, like there's 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 quite a few that I can think of. And it's hard to my, nail down one. I want my shirt to say "Mmm <laughs> parts." <laughs> Shut up, stupid! Shut up, stupid! Yeah. I mean, technically, that's already on there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. I gotta go back and watch the episodes. Like, yeah. I don't know what that means, gentlemen. What, is this, what does that mean? She wants to hear your stream. Go to the bathroom. No, Kyle. For Kyle. Kyle. Kyle's. Oh, yeah. his power. Dad stream. <laughs> dad stream. That shit was funny. Oh, shit. <laughs> for Kyle, you gotta put a dad joke on it. Word. Oh, God. Straight up. Could imagine that. Yeah, thank God for toys. Give them mm -hmm. a toy to calm down. Like, oh, okay, we can fucking bite on these stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Instead of killing each other, we can we can bite this stuff. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Hey, I want to bite on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna fight for for toys. Definitely. <laughs> No, that one's mine. No, that one's mine, sir. <laughs> I do believe. Excuse me, sir. Sir, sir, excuse me. That one's mine. <laughs> I'm excited for a new episode of Saturday Night Live tonight. I don't know if you guys it's, are watching them. Are they funny? I don't know, man. They seem kind of dry. Yeah. I only watch, a new year. I only watch Weekend Update. Uh, I we like Weekend Update. Fucking hysterical, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, Bill says... Uh, Chooches should have his buzz saying to infinity and a bong. <laughs> to infinity and a bong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to infinity and I'm gone, maybe? And I'm gone. Why are you whimpering in the corner? Yeah. She's just standing there. <laughs> Maybe she needs to go. Maybe. 
maybe early. I mean, it's been a few years since I had a dog. Well, more than a few. It's been 15, 16 wow. years since I had a dog. Shit. All right, let me, let me go see if she needs to. When you, when you act like pack leader, you don't forget that. Man. No, you were. I mean, she just went before we came back up, but you might be right. She is a puppy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All that excitement and activity and shit, man. Yeah, uh, she needs to go again. I remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do your thing, Julio. Go be a good dad. Don't Gumball touch. Paul says, uh, she just has to be. Shut up, stupid. <laughs> it has to be just that. That's going to be here. Oh, yeah, that has to be included. Definitely. You want to put gumballs in your hand? You have a lollipop in your mouth right now, and you're thinking about another piece of candy? One thing at a time. Okay? Man, you do take after your dad. Yeah, <laughs> Got one hand with the titty and the other one in your mouth. What are you doing? Take them to mommy. Go ahead. Make her deal with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so dad goals. And then Paul says uh, it should say shut up stupid on a hat with no brim. Word. Oh no, didn't you hear what Paul and I were saying the other night about hats? I don't know if you missed it. We were saying uh, double snaps. Double snapback. Yeah. No brim, double snapback. Oh, God. Someone has to manufacture that. I'd have to look real hard for that. <laughs> or you can just customize one yourself. I don't know, man. I'm not really into customizing. No? More of a yeah. snap hat guy? Okay. Nope, I'm done. I've never customized a thing in my life. I mean, you gotta get into it, man. It goes against my moral code of uh, blatant ambiguity and ambivalence. Anime accuracy only. That's right. I can only I can only paint things to look like they came off of the television screen, so that it only looks good from one specific angle. It's like the most extreme zenith style shading you do. Looks really good from that angle, but if you walk around the model, it looks like kind of like doo-doo. <laughs> it's good for a display case. <laughs> Paul needs do a double snap for his hair. You just got you got to put your hair in pigtails. And That's make what sure we said. On the side. Oh, That's literally what we said. We gonna, he, Paul is going to put his hair in pigtails and do the double, like do the uh, Princess Leia Busta Puffs on the sides of the shit. Did I miss that? I can't wait. I think to see we it. were talking before the show. Uh, behind the scenes, and we were talking about it. I'm pretty so sure on the show. Yeah, I, I could have sworn you were talking about the hats on the show. But it might yeah. have been. I just missed that one part. That one important part. It's a pretty no. important part to miss, man. Well, I was I at say, work, and there was trains coming through. I say a lot of things, so you know. Uh, I heard things. I heard things. It gets lost. A lot of times, it can get lost. This plastic feels pretty fragile. Ah, I gotta love that. Hmm? The white? The white plastic? No, the black plastic. No, this shit is fucking solid. I mean, for, for part separation, like when I start separating this. Oh, no, no, it. yeah, when you separate it. Mm -mm. Uh, no. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, what are you talking about? What about this? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. No, because, like, I'm building, I'm like, how the fuck am I gonna separate this, man? This shit is tight. Masking. Yeah, Yep, gonna have to mask. It's definitely a, uh, a, not a piece that should be messed with all that much. Hey, if it's any consolation, I just broke a piece of this about 10 minutes ago, so. Oh, oh shit. It's all right, I fixed it already. Well, that's, that's all right then. <laughs> yeah. It's all part of the game. You gotta fuck it up to make it better. Somewhere. Uh, I'm always fucking it very somewhere. well. I'm always fucking things up. Like no matter what, man, it just fucking happens, man. Yep. Uh oh. It's, uh oh. Hey, oh, look at this guy. Hey, Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Hey. What up, Z? You missed it, Z. We thank Karen for the kit. Uh, am I breaking up? Am I robot? 
No, you're fine. Okay, I got you. What up, guys? Z. Uh, so yeah. let's focus in on this man. There you go. Yeah, G. What's the matter? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Nanya. Yeah, this is pretty bad. I think. Or or is it <laughs> fine? I don't know. It's fine. You now. sound okay, but you sound far away. That's about it. On my end, it's horrible. I'm hmm. on this yeah. Yeah. Where's your yeah. Where's your laptop, man? Yeah, my end it's like I'm not at home. Ah. Are oh, you at the parents? Oh, and that's loud. I'm at my parents. Yeah, we came to visit today since I was running around all day and I was hanging out with Kyle, being super gay. <laughs> super gay. Where is Kyle right now? Is he still driving home? I think Kyle was having. No, he should have been home a long time ago. I got home like, well, I got, yeah, I got home like an hour and a half ago, maybe. But I think uh, Scarlett, he's having trouble putting her down to sleep for the night. Uh, I think she's just being fussy. Mm, yeah. So, that makes sense. But anyway, my eyes won't open. And I figured I, instead of trying to read, I crashed the party for a little bit. Hell yeah, dude. I can't read. I can't read the chat at all right now. Okay, I'll, I'll read it out to you. Don't worry. Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, Manny, uh, Ruslam says, uh, "Could you check the IG group chat real quick?" I, I'm on Instagram. I don't see it. Are you sure I'm there? Or is I don't think he's in the. He's not in the critical. It's all. in the other one. Oh, the yeah. other one. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not part of that. I didn't pay my uh, my membership dues yet. Huh? Um, okay. Uh, oh, here we go. What do you say, Lincoln? Cool. We have a little bit of a push. We have a little bit of time left on this. Thank you, Lincoln, for getting back oh, to right. me. Link finally responded to my email. Nice. So it's not tomorrow now. So when is when is the due date? Um. There you go. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Got it. Uh, don't know. Um, you know, a week or two, maybe, or maybe the end of the month. He linked did a poll on the group to see, you know, who could use more time and all this stuff. And it was like, let me check real quick. Uh, Miguel has a question for Z. Uh, what gay activities were you doing with Kyle, Z? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, we were eating yeah. pasta. Cool. <laughs> Lady in the tramp style, right? Yeah. 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 So um I had to go run some errands downtown. And since Kyle lives about thirty, maybe forty minutes outside the city, I hit him up all I can do. I've got your comic book and I've got that little mini figure for you and some Gundam parts like why don't if you can't me out. So he did Look at this course, smooth motherfucker here. What up, Z? <laughs> what up, bro? What up? Yeah, so him and I met up, and I, you know, ran my errands, and then his. So Kyle is uh, vegan. Uh, who does not realize chicken is not <laughs> vegan? Um, who doesn't realize that what? Chicken is a not vegan. vegan. Chicken is not vegan. No. Chicken is not and, vegan. Uh, chicken is not vegan. Um, is that a Scott Pilgrim joke? Scott Pilgrim joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> And uh, so he, his favorite, one of his favorite diners in the city that's totally vegan uh, is in Boys Town. And he was picking up like, a, you know, lunch or dinner or whatever for the family. And so we um, met up over there and grabbed a bite to eat real quick and hung out outside. And just, they were it was definitely a beautiful day activity. in the city. It was like 55 degrees. So, yeah. So we yeah. Were yeah. Totally it's hella nice. That, that they went to Kyle. go eat over at Boys Town. That is the gayest statement <laughs> I've ever heard. I'm going to meet you in the meatpacking district, Manny. Yeah, right? There the you fudge go. Fudge packing district. <laughs> I'm going to meet you in the fudge packing district. Oh, like, you guys. First thing I said to Kyle, I was like, why are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> why are you gay? Uh, but yeah, so we met up real quick. I hadn't seen Kyle. I think I haven't seen Kyle since the last time me, Pabs, and Kyle. Met over the summer, I think, right? Yeah, yeah something like that, man. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what? Really you know, excited. you know what upsets what upsets me the most is I wasn't invited to this. 
and I didn't have I didn't have the opportunity to to deny the request for me to show up. Yeah. No. Yeah, because it was like super last minute, and you're in Aurora. I was like, I'm gonna ask this man to drive into gold into the Gold Coast just for five minutes. Because literally, like, I had to run into a store, which I was only by appointment. And then Kyle was waiting outside the whole time when I went in there. And then I was going back home, but I was like, okay, I feel bad that he drove, like, 40 minutes to get here. So I don't want him to just go off and, and like, go back home. Uh, well, but otherwise, something he wanted, dude. Because yeah, he even know. Kyle, did. Kyle was like, should we get a pad? I'm like, dude, we don't have time for that shit. Junior, <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got time for no shit from that guy. You know, it was like that scene from uh, Smoking the Bandit. What do you want to eat, Junior? Hush, puppy, daddy. We ain't got time for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, otherwise we would have like it was. And then it took me almost two and a half hours to get home. Damn. Because why, Siri, why so because Siri, oh, no. thinks that. For some reason, local is faster than the freeway. Oh and no! It, and it drove me around local in the city, which I like. I know my way in the city, but I was like, okay, let me see if this was the fastest time. So when it did, I was like, oh, cool, an hour. I'll follow it. It was an hour local. I didn't read the rest of the directions. <laughs> <laughs> so driving around like different parts of the city, but then again, it was such a nice day. It was nice to just be on driving, too, so I didn't mind too much. Word up. Yeah, and then I stopped and got Bosnian food. It was delicious. Bosnian food. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? <coughs> Just two awesome. dudes chilling in the hot tub, five feet apart. Because then Shawapi. I got Shawapi. Shawahi. Shawahi. Shawedi. Shawedi balls. That's a really, really dope hangout. See, really, really Shawabi. good. This room. I miss Kyle. What's that, bro? Ah, uh, dude, uh, I know, man. See, I, know. I think Kyle got taller as he got more rank. <laughs> He's a grown oh. boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, Kyle's always been like six, stop six fucking two, growing. <laughs> Who? All of you. Stop <laughs> fucking growing. <laughs> I'm so good. I already started shrinking. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Why has the right idea? Shrink. It gets smaller. I need to see you guys. I'm I'm not, no, I'm skinny. Well, we're I'm still well, saying I'm still saying six four. I'm not gonna get any shorter. We're all gonna be eye level when we sit down. Yeah. Just, most of us will have our feet on the floor. <laughs> the pants uh, sits up. <laughs> pants yeah. climbs up into the chair. <laughs> pants, little feet Tim kick. And I are the only feet. ones who are kind of the same eye level. Yeah, you pat and Tim. They see no, Tim is shorter than. I, me and Z. <laughs> I'm not going to have the argument with him. <laughs> I, I fucking will. I know. That's why in that, that selfie that I took at uh, Anime NYC, Manny and I look like the same height because we basically are. And then you can see Tim. He looks like he's a mile away in the background, but he's only standing like a foot by past Manny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a forced perspective. Yeah. Oh, man. You will never be unroasted, Tim. <laughs> How are the bills? Tim. It's actually, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, this oh, is what yeah. I got so far. Boom. Easily. Oh, oh, I'm working on the back, and now, well, I'm working on the, the neck, and then I got to work on the back. It's working great. on the neck and the back? Yep. <laughs> Shut up. What about the other two? Doctor, need, <laughs> doctor said I need a backyotomy. <laughs> <laughs> Julio got it. Thanks, Julio. Yep, I also get it. But I was about to sing the lyrics, and then Manny jumped in. Or something. I know you. You shouldn't. Yeah, you shouldn't. Definitely <laughs> no, no, no. not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. <laughs> nope. You can only say that in boys town. <laughs> you only say that in boys town. <laughs> <laughs> you only say that around Chelsea peas. <laughs> there you go. Man, Manny. Oh, last shit. night, you and Mario. Like literally, yeah. I said, I'm like, oh, I got some free time now. Let me jump on this on mechanism. Uh, I I hit, you know, to en enter the stream, and the moment I hit, on the other side, I was like, hey, look who's here, Manny and Mario. I was like, and it told me, <laughs> and it told me it was full. I'm like, god damn it, what the hell? No, it got full because uh, Bill and jumped Bill on. Bill came in. Yeah. yeah. Bill in. But I thought 
I saw like eight people on. I know ten. No, it was ten. It was ten. No, I know ten. It was ten after you and Mario and Bill came in. But prior to that, who else was in there? Well, seven of you, right? There were seven people prior. Mikel. Got it. Okay. Julio. Julio and Julio. Yeah. Yeah. But then, you know, I shut everything off because I'm like, okay, it's full. So I'll just watch. And then later on, when you guys were hanging out, I was like, well, let me jump in now. And of course, my camera stopped working. Oh, wow. The gremlins were back. Uh, no, you cannot ah. get on. <laughs> yeah. uh, let me see. Brandon says, I saw that earlier. Uh, I was so bummed last year's SCGMC didn't happen. Had it all planned out. Can't wait until we can all meet at some point. Yeah, Brandon. Um, yeah, we're planning, I mean, there's one before SCGMC, which is the Mecha Modelers Expo, uh, which is run by G, uh, by USA Gundam Store. Uh, I believe yeah. in August, which is still which is still potentially happening. Tentatively, so, yeah. I think yeah, it's gonna happen. I mean, I'll, I'll see you also, guys there. Yeah, I'll be down so, there. I mean, I got space to stay. I guess. What's up? I'll be down you? there in four. I was gonna say Brandon's also, you know, gonna have a brand new house. It's gonna be huge. We can always pull the build night there. <laughs> Word up. Well, I mean, shouldn't we ask Brandon first? <laughs> nah, <laughs> Brandon, nah. Brandon, Brandon we're coming over. That's it. With, with Debo in your house, yo. That's it. It's mine now. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it could be our house. We could just let you stay there. Yeah, it could be out. This could be our house. No I house. It as an Airbnb. House. There you go. That sounds like something. That sounds like something Mark Wahlberg would say. <coughs> would your mother for me. No, this, this could be your house. Is this your house? No, no, it's our house. <laughs> it's a very, very, very fine house. <laughs> God damn. I'm just on it tonight, boys. With two cats in the yard. Doesn't anybody Last care about what I do so hard? Uh, yo, Brandon, I'm actually going to send out the bash box because it's packed. Manny gave me stuff, and that shit is packed. Uh, I wish it was I'm a little bit bigger, but... I'm not putting anything in it this time. Yeah. <clears throat> Unless you got small stuff. Right? No. Nah. Wait, Julio, did you grab something out of the box? <laughs> Uh, what do you want, sir? I don't know. Any any kind of like spare part stuff that I might There's, even enjoy, like detail maybe or. There's so many uh, spare parts in there, dude. I forget it. Don't worry about oh. it. Uh, um, I'll send you. I'll send you pictures. I'll, I'll crack it open. Cause I, I just threw stuff in there. I didn't grab any uh, spare parts. Yo, Julio, we talked about this. Stop talking over each other. No, I'm, just I'm sorry. Man. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm right. Every time I every time I think you're done. You're saying something. I keep going with my fucking stupid mouth. Next time, That's you better give me your cup. Fruit. <laughs> um, Brandon, I, I last night I dug. I was gonna say last night I dug out the the dual Gundam and the resin upgrade. Hey, uh, hey. So I'm gonna ship that out this week, hopefully. Yeah, I gotta ship my stuff out. Me too. Yeah, I if ship Santos is here, hopefully Santos, I will be sending out yours to you. Brandon's house gonna smell like Coca Cola and farts when y'all in there. <laughs> <laughs> Covered with a fine dust of powder. Oh, and baby Yo, powder. WandaVision, bro. Mm-hmm. Wanda right. Yo. Manny has a yeah, Manny sorry, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Talk it's about okay. it. Okay, Manny ruined it for me last week. Time for me to ruin it. Manny. Okay, it was good, Kang good. all along. It was Kang. Oh, yeah. I knew it. I freaking knew it. <clears throat> no, it was a good episode, though. That was a good episode. Yeah, I, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Bill, there is no space in there, dude. <laughs> in, in the bash box, there is no space in there. There's stickers in there, too. I threw Yeah, there's, there's mad stickers in there, Bill. Definitely grab yeah, some from all of us. Some of my stickers are in there, right, Julio? Yeah, I threw some in there. Yeah, I think uh, Julio said that there was some critical bill stickers in there, too. Yes, sir. Yeah, he just forgot to bring some to me again. No, I put them in the little bag, dude. Oh, you did? Yeah, in the little bag with the hands. I got to find the little bag. Hold on a minute. My wife I got no here. freaky fingers, and I got no critical stickers. Yo, I tried to find my freaky finger bag that I have, my stock, and I could not. Mm-hmm. So I got to tear shit apart. Look for good. It. I got to bring I one to you and Manny. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> Make your model with a little hand. <laughs> Dude, I need a second one for my for my uh, yeah. audio station so I can hold up my instructions. 
<laughs> Word. What is he in this thing? What? What's going on? You have right, problems? So, so I'm gonna make myself bigger uh, momentarily. All right. All so right. what this piece right here? Right. This this chest piece. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and then this goes behind it, right? Yeah. It's supposed to fill those holes, right? Yeah. Slide it in. Once you get it into the chest, it'll fill. Yeah, yeah. Once you, you got to push it into it the into chest. Look at this thing. No, no, no. no oh, no. no. You got to push it into the main body. And when you push it into the main body, just yeah. focus your, your point, uh, your two fingers on the, the that top line right there in the front. Mm -hmm. And when you push it in, it's going to pop it through. Ah! Okay. You're going to want to turn the apart. middle side top wise. Okay. Yeah, once you push it into the plug, it'll it'll push it in. Yeah, it'll okay. push it right out. Sorry, I was talking over me. You, you got to push your shit in. Everybody could talk over me. I don't care. I still talk. Uh, <laughs> if you catch it, you catch it. You miss it, oh well. You get two of those chess pieces. I don't know if yeah. one's different from the other. I don't think they are, though. I don't think so. They look exactly the same. No, they're the yeah. same. Yeah. So, and that, that's just extra parts for Ninja. Mm-hmm. Cut out those diamonds and shit. Put them on yes, there. Sir. Put that shit on his chest. Yep. Hell yeah. Put some shit on his chest? What is this, a Cleveland steamer? What is this here? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. But hey, guys, so I just wanted to pop in and say hello. Uh, I do. I'm going to jump off. I'm going to go watch Tom Jerry with the kids. Oh, I got to watch that, dude. Yeah. And then hang out, you know, all over my mom. But uh, it's good seeing you guys again. And yes, everybody in the chat. I will see hey. you guys later. Yes, sir. Easy, easy. Easy. Uh, all right, Z. Be easy, my guy. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yo, you know what would be a sick kit batch with this? Some what? Evangelion shit. Yeah. True. Yeah, dude. That's funny because I have a master grade. I have two master grade evas. I have unit one and unit three. Well, oh, shit. I don't know. Master grades? I don't remember any master grade evas. Well, you yeah, know, the Bandai know. large scale ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, the large the uh, high grades. Yeah. Would be sick. Would be cool. Nah, I can't start another project, man. <laughs> I can't. Keep it, write it down so you remember it for next time. Oh uh, no, it's, it's gonna be milling in my head now, so I don't even have to write it down. It'll yeah, it'll be there, right? It's just gonna, gonna rattle around for a while. This yeah. is cooking. Okay. Here, she's just trying to like their sister, like <laughs> get, straight up eat her. Hold oh, out. Cannibalism. Yep. yep. So they do. Frowned upon. I don't want her getting used to biting other dogs because I don't know how they'll react. Yeah, so yeah, yeah definitely. Like get, trying to get toys in between them. Or just see the stop. What happened? Just get her. To, you can get her to stop. You ever watch a dog whisper? No. Good. Watch them see their Milan. Yeah. <laughs> yep. There you go. Two good, good techniques for. That's what I use on my dog, and I had a you know 130 pound yeah, pitbull that was bite. very well behaved. So. Yes, this is not bad. Thank you. Not at all, right? Yeah, dude, it's fucking nice, bro. Like shit is real nice. I do enjoy. Me goosed. Me goosed. <laughs> you know, goose that. Um, the way everything's coming together, it's gonna be real easy to paint. Is it? You you think so? I don't I don't know, man. You pop. Everything's just sliding in and out. To, uh, if you can get these yellow parts out, <laughs> that will be easier. But it feels like it's once it's in there, it's in there. For yeah, good. I think that's why they gave you two. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you break one, bro. <laughs> we got another one. But uh, it seems like it'll be real easy to paint. Like all the armor pops off real nice, real quick. I think it's the inner frame that I'm a bit more worried about. Like this inner black thing that that's gonna be tough to get out. And then like these long pegged ones, these long thin pegs, like on this this. This side right here, and then the back, this back mm -hmm. piece, that's mm -hmm. gonna be a pain in the ass to get out once you push that all the way in. Uh, no, I don't think so. You need to break it and repeg it. <laughs> true. <Yeah. laughs> true, true, true. Um, shit, you're right. I didn't push mine in all the way. Though. No, me neither. I'm like, I'm no, I did. I don't give a fuck. 
<laughs> I'm like, I'll deal with it when I have to deal with it. But right now, let's get that shit in tight. Get that in the yeah. I push pieces so hard together, they fart. <laughs> this one? Fucking Coca Cola farts. Yep. <laughs> nice. And baby powder. Coca Cola and baby powder farts. Yep. Got to deal with the chafing. <laughs> Here comes the thunder. <laughs> yeah, that makes that boom bap. Rap. You would take out this part when you paint it? Yeah, I would mm -hmm. too. I would yeah. take that out, scribe it up. Or maybe replace um, it with the Eva part. Mm hmm. So, uh, Rushlam is asking, is there an option for the text setter? The text setter is, oh no, which which one's the text setter? Is that the Pegasus? I think that's the Pegasus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, currently, I don't think they have that available. If we buy enough of these kits, they might make it. Yes. <laughs> so, or we can 3D print it, maybe. Three, three, four Ooh, that's an expensive. Yeah, that'd be big, thing. bro. Yeah. Nice as fuck, though. Even if it's just like the way part form. Yeah, that'd be really nice. It didn't. It doesn't need to transform, man. As long as it's like represented somehow. Yeah. Cool as hell. Man. Cool. Here we go. Page three. Let's get it, Pabs. Oh man. Someone page six, man. Oh damn! Really? Am I? Is, is I'm on the same page? No. Yeah. Apparently, you're not it's on the same page. Page six. Page six. Um, but it, it, it starts like <laughs> on page three. You know what no, I mean? No, 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 no. Page number says six, bro. It starts on four, though. You start building in four. Uh, Bill says, if not, that would be a cool resin kit. That would be. Yes, it would. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm on uh, page six. I'm about to. Oh no, he that. does have. He does have that though. Yeah, he has the he has the vault techers, but not the not the tech setter. No, 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 tech setter. I thought that was vault tech, right? That's the. What the fuck are you guys talking about? This is. So so for so for Tekka Man, right, his main attack is his shoulders open up and they ha it has this like beam thing that shoots okay. out. Yeah, and that's called the, the Yeah, it's called the Vault Tekka. So if I go um let me see if they show it off in the in the instruction manual, they do not. Oh good. I get it now. A bit silly. It's the shoulders. They open yeah, up the shoulder. Like, shoulder I respect that. I don't. I mean, I'm super unfamiliar with the IP, so okay, it all makes sense to me now. Yeah. So Sorovan's got the idea. Yeah, I think he meant Vault Tekka. That's the beam. And yes, the shoulders open. From what I remember, the pictures. Yeah, the shoulders do open. It's really cool. It's a really cool effect. I think. You had me lost for a second, though. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I get lost all the time. Too. All right. So on the backpack, there's going to be a seam line. I don't know whether it's supposed to be there or it needs to be covered. On uh, the mm. back, there's a seam right here. See where you connect it. D was that yeah. D nine and D twenty two or? That is the the D twenty two. Yeah, both of them. D twenty two and the D twenty three. Because the the uh, the seam on the inside of it gets hidden with the body armor. Mm -hmm. But uh, once you hit the once you look at it from the outside, you can see the seam. So mm -hmm. that needs to be puttied up. Or glued, right? Glued. Das glued. Hmm? I am glued. I am glued. I am glued. Yeah, this is okay. Okay. I have a quick question though. What's up? On step one dash thirteen, where it shows you uh, the little segger windows with H four. Sorry. We have two of them, right? But you, they only said to put one, and then you have like all this extra like little peg space. Which which one is that? Exposed peg. Like uh, these right here, the um, the little uh, window for um, H four and D fifteen. 
in uh, instruction 1-13. Okay. So I'm wondering, do we put the next one on there over it to like do like a staggered effect? I'm pretty sure. I mean, if you look at the, 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 the photos in the back, it should show you. Yeah, let me look at it real quick because it's only one and, and the pegs are going to be exposed. Hmm. Nah, it's not showing too much on the photo in the back. All right, whatever. I'm just going to leave it with the one. Extra parts to cannibalize. Yeah. For the horde. <laughs> Yo, Bill, I'm with you there, bro. I watched the uh, Tech Man on Channel Nine. Channel Nine, man. Yeah. It was, it was that freaking, It was eight yeah. in the morning, and then they moved it up to fucking six in the morning. Yep. Of, oh man. We need this slot. We're gonna show Sailor Moon. <laughs> <laughs> Sailor Moon's already shown on Channel Eleven. Why do you need a Channel Nine? They love that shit. Ratings. Man. Ratings. Dragon Ball and shit. There, there were. There you go. Pushing that hard. But yeah, I, I didn't actually. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's fucking nice, bro. I like the layering on this, man. Mm-hmm. Kind of glad I got this. He's giving me ideas. You? Not for, not for Ninja, for uh, the big guy, Brutox. Uh, the big heavy arms that I, that, I, that I have to do. Yeah. <laughs> Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. How's it going over there, Brian? Good. Since Link sent me that email, I'm like, wow, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've been oil rendering for like uh, the last, I want to say, probably. 10 or 12 hours at the bench have been spent oil rendering. Some time, my guy. I mean, I watch uh, watch cool stuff and listen to historical things. Yep. Well, I was, uh, I was doing, well, I was, before the stream, I was, um, I was doing some more Barbato stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some arms done? Uh, some shields. Nice, bro. Nice. Let me see if I can get it to actually. Oh, yeah. That'll do, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Get a little closer. With air and extra dry. Yo, where'd you get those uh those decals? Uh so this is a mix between uh Delpy, Simpro, and Child of Mecca. Uh, good spread, bro. Yeah, it's pieces of Tim. Yeah, pieces of Tim, pieces of Jun, and pieces of whoever makes Delpy. <laughs> pieces of Tim. It's the it's Tim's tribute to Jewel. Album. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see here. Uh, and then it Bill says, uh, I think the US bastardization of Techno Man called it Tech Setup. I kind of mix the two together in my head sometimes. So I know um, the robot was called Pegasus. The, the, the attack, what was the attack called in the, uh, the, the English version? Do you even have a name for it? Ball Gigantic. I don't know. Um, it's been a while, man. It's been a long greatest? while. I don't yeah, know. I've been watching. Yep. I never yeah, watched the version. Ryan, I do recommend if you can find it to so watch it. Yeah, dude. What's okay. that? Okay, say it, man. I don't mind it. Oh, good night, Brandon. Hello, oh. Brandon. Good night, Brandon. Just wait, we'll be at your door. Knock, knock. <laughs> knock, knock, motherfucker. It's the candy man. Uh oh. Goes this way. Goes. Make sure the streaks go the right direction here. <laughs> that might be helpful. Well, it's like weird things. Like this piece of armor is oh, is like a bigger. really. It's all right. This piece of armor is like a really bizarre shape. Right, it's also incredibly shiny, which is why it's glaring. Um, it's a really bizarre shape, and it sits on like it's weird. Like this is the front bottom, this is the back, <laughs> this is the back in the center. So it's just like a weird piece of armor, oddly shaped. Like how the does that? This is it this way? Is it this way? But, yeah, whatever. 
right, it's confirmed. not really a problem. <laughs> confirm, confirm. Brian has a front bottom. Giggity. Got a front butt? Nope. Front butt? <laughs> nope. Stick butt. Stick <laughs> butt? <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Yep. Nice and quiet. <laughs> yeah, that statement definitely requires for its silence. <laughs> Uh, the curved front butt. Front butt. <clears throat> Let's see yeah, what I'm, really, I'm really enjoying this build, man. This build is... Yeah, it's nice. It's going together quickly and almost effortless. Yeah. yeah. Definitely worth the money. Speaking of, you guys picking up that night? I already have a free order, bro. I ain't even want to so, do I. <laughs> so do I. So do I. I just got to tell you about a main thing. I know. I know. Yeah, as soon as you mentioned, I'm like, up, oh, gotta go. I've been, uh, <laughs> I've been investing in tooling, so. Yeah. Tooling, tooling and supplies. Good. Full up on unicorn tears. That's always a necessity right there. Yep. I just got four pounds of this in the mail. Woo. Yep. Big boys. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that was Brian. Uh, the pack, they're like, uh, the pack, this pack's like 40 something bucks, 44 bucks, something like that shipped. Oh, damn. Not yet. This will last for years. <laughs> so, uh, I still have some left over, but I wanted to have new. And you can tell the difference. Like, the new stuff is all soft. <laughs> My old stuff is like, I really got to work it to get it to do its thing, but. It still works. It's like so, literally five or six years old, though. So Steve has a question for you guys, or I guess for all of us. Uh, are we going to keep doing these Saturday chill streams? Hmm. Uh, depends. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. Five dollars. <laughs> five dollars. Um, I mean, I, 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 I'd like to. Uh, you know, I mean, this is one of those things where I'm. We're not really doing anything particularly interesting. I mean, I guess Brian is, um, but we're not doing anything particularly taxing or interesting. And so it's easy to just kind of just sit here and, and, and talk and and hang out. So, I mean, if, if people want us to keep doing this, let us know. And then we'll, we'll see if it works with everybody else's schedule because it depends on everybody else's schedule. <laughs> so, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You have to ask them. I'm going to be working pretty vigorously on some projects that I got to get done. Mm -hmm. But I'm down to hang out with you guys. Yeah, hang out. I'm hanging out working on my, my various projects. Yeah. yeah. As long as I'm here. Well, so you heard it here first, guys. If you want us to continue, say hashtag critical chill. <laughs> <laughs> Blow it up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Oh, well, shit. Steve says, go get your package, Brian. There might be some tooling surprises in oh, there. Oh, I do need to. Yeah, I can't. I didn't get there today because it was fucking raining all morning, and then I had to do laundry. Um, it's like my one free day. But Tuesday, Tuesday, I'm gonna go to ship some stuff. I have to ship this kid Steve Azaku. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I drop it off, I'll just pick up my other package. So uh, Steve says he likes the chill streams. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're they're very. Uh... Chill streams like you too, Steve. <laughs> yeah, as, as the as the name suggests, you know, we're just we're chilling. You guys want to chill? You guys want to hang out? Oh shit! Oh shit! What? What? Oh, shit! Hold on! Hold on! Hold the horse! Damn, horse. Well. Hold the phone! Hold your horse! No! Well, now! Oh shit! <laughs> Yo, nice. Oh. That's sick. <laughs> Bro. That's definitely an interesting concept. Right? What? Yeah. Oh, get uh, the get one of the barber toes in the master grade. Holes not the same size. Uh, lines up on the on the shelf. But oh, yeah, his barber toes. The barber toes head probably look good for this too, man. Do you, do you remember those heads that they used to sell? They used to sell like the mini busts, right? Yeah. yeah. Throw one of them on there. Okay, all right. I have them. Yeah, I got them. one. I got one. I got a bunch of them. 
<laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, the hole's not big enough. I got a small hole. <laughs> it's alright. That's not a problem. You can fix that shit. <laughs> or the pegs I know, a, big enough. That's what I know a store in Florida that sells sets of pin vices already preset. Hmm. I wonder which store he's talking about. Boy! You can use uh, code BROBUILDER10 to save 10% at checkout. Don't use <laughs> code up. Yo, that, that looks wild. That is pretty wild. I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. That looks I like wild it. as hell, dude. I mean, I'm more of a Stein guy, but I like it. <laughs> they take the beef in off. It'll be a Stein. <laughs> By the way, my Stein. Oh, my God. I love building this fucking Stein. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, man. If I had a thousand, I'd build a thousand of these shits. What's more, I don't know what it is. Hands down, it's got to be my favorite suit. I can't, I can't. No more, like, fiddle fucking around, and next time somebody asks me a question, I got to answer. <laughs> Stein! It'd be like, what's your favorite suit? Like, oh, so Zion suit, they're real nice. And... Nope, Stein. 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 Anaheim Electronics might be a horribly corrupt and dangerous company, but they sure do make a good mobile suit. Sure, sure a lot of them say that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta build a Stein soon. Have you built a Stein before, Julio? I built the HG Stein. I have not. Ah, I have nothing compared not to the same. Yeah. yeah, the HG was real nice though. The narrative. Are you doing this for car? Or are you doing the narrative? Um, I think the narrative's coming, right, Bill? I'm not too sure. Nice. That's good because it has a ton of extra parts that'll be good for you to use in your uh, endeavors for this particular project, right? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I was talking with Paul about it on that Thursday before I started snapping it up last Thursday. About the differences. Oh, from the sign to the Verkai? Yeah. Yeah, the narrative versus the Verkai, yeah. You prefer the I know they fixed a lot of the uh, the Stein like issues. Oh, what what about. issues? What issues? I mean, oh. that's all. That's all I, I. That's all I know. That's all I've been told. Like they fixed a uh, bunch of issues. Like what? Uh, like I, I don't know. Like I'm just. I don't have any issues. So. The Stein. So the Sinanju has issues. The waste in the Sinanju is bad, but the OVA um, Sinanju fixed that as well. They changed the materials and the construction of the waste peg. Mm -hmm. um, it uh, it snaps in the Verka. And then subsequently you get aftermarket bits like this. Oh, here we go. How about you put it on camera, Brian? Which is just like a uh -huh. machine brass peg that replaces that replaces the inside. So you literally just cut the body, like cut the pelvis, and then glue this peg in. And then that becomes your new peg because the peg shears. Um, it's just poorly designed. <laughs> And I'm making. Here you go, Julio. This is my. This is my freaky fingers for you. You. Yeah. Like oh one. shit. Freaky wow, fingers. Wow, look at that chrome. For it real. is a chrome though. <laughs> that's the thing. It's that um, shine. How about that? I know. I know. But that, that's. I mean, it could be chrome, but it's not. It's the armor iron color. So it's the iron, like heavy flake. It's not even the fancy fucking chrome. You got the chrome too, right, man? You get the moto chrome. Yes, I do. Yeah. So, like this, I really look forward to using. And then, like, my other chromes, I've been using the uh, Malto mm -hmm. for, like, brushing and stuff like that. I used the, did I use Malto? Yeah, I used Malto on, on this, too, on the uh, on the antenna. This is green, like, coated green wire, actually. <laughs> wow. But I made this, like, I, like, wrapped a little curly cue Dope. to make it that, like, springy antenna like it's supposed to have. Very now cool. you just wrapped it around, or you have like a little tool that can help you do that? No, I wrapped it around something. It's this stuff. This uh, like, um, I got this for just literally bought three pack of these for using to make models. Um, yes, this is like I use that stuff to make hooks for like Christmas ornaments. Yeah, so it's just a horticultural wire, mm -hmm. um, for doing like uh, topiary shit or whatever. Yo, ho, ho, I fucking love it. Love what? Hold on, hold on. Take the camera off. Yeah. The, the detailing on that back is so mm -hmm. nice. Super, super nice. I'm almost done with the head. Oh, shit. I'm done with the oils. Oh, shit. 
Oh. 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 <laughs> Bunch of Julio noises over here. <laughs> you guys but, uh, go, ahead. go ahead, go ahead, Brian. Go ahead. Uh, no, no, no. What were you gonna say? I was gonna show the uh, the comparisons between a Master Grade head and a or Master Grade torso and this thing. Yeah. Oh, right. Holy feels, shit! It feels a bit bigger, but it's just because the waist is with it too. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that Barbatos head would look cool on that fucking body. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> maybe like, uh, not that one, maybe the, uh, the Lupus Rex. Or even maybe even just a Lupus. There you go. That'd be cool. <laughs> now John Lynn's trying to apply for her AARP card. Listen, Charlie. <laughs> Listen. Where, where's John Lynn speaking from? I don't see her. No, no, that's on Twitter. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I had a notifications on my phone, so I went and jump, jumped over real quick and saw the silliness. What is this? What is coming from Amazon? Oh, coffee. Fuck yes. Come on. Give me coffee. <laughs> coffee. Give me what I crave. All right, I'm putting on the side pieces for the head unit. Nice, man. Damn, you're working through this. Yo, I've been waiting since I freaking got it to build this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, man, it's saving for Saturday. I'm like, can I t- at least take it out of the plastic? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do that Saturday. Yeah. Man, I wish they came up with a model kit for the Giver. That'd be sweet. There's a bunch of resin kits out there for it. Yeah, I don't care about resin as much as you do. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to build one, it's out there. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Who was it that was building it? Was it Julionius that was building the bust? Uh, I, I think it was Julio. Yeah, Julionius. Yeah, no, Julio. Like, Julio, Aponte. Our Julio? Well, yeah. He was, he, was building building one. One. he was building one, and I know um, Julionius, I think, was building a vinyl Kaivo. Ah. Uh, oof, that's a tough one. Hey, guys, here's a question for you that I got here on uh, Instagram. Does so, anybody know of a good place to get P Bandai replacement parts? Japan. Wow. Live in Japan. <laughs> and uh, you know, order it from there, <laughs> or know somebody who lives in Japan that could order it for you. Uh, yeah. So, so it's. Uh, it's a long shot, but you can technically. Are uh, you um, sometimes Mandarake will sell uh, incomplete P Bandai kits. Got True, you. but that's like a rarity. Yeah, that's a, that's why it says a long shot. Like that's only like um. I wish that they would they were watching so we could kind of they could explain what piece they're missing. Right. But I mean, I guess maybe if they can elaborate, that'd be really cool. Yeah, I'm missing a whole set of. Uh... P Bandai Stormbringer. The whole set. Yeah, I'm missing the whole box. <laughs> it's, um, this is uh, you know him. This is a uh, Chase. That pencil guy. stick. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's asking. So, um, I'm just gonna let him know we're streaming on on your YouTube. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, this hangout idea is cool, Pabs. Yeah, man. You can have a whole bunch of people on here, you know, just random. Throw it, yeah, know. this is this is definitely more laid back. No, no, not, not a lot of like you know, no structure. It's you know, because critical builds is 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 great and all, but it is very it's tiring. For, it's what for it's supposed to be. It's supposed yeah. to critique builds, right? And this this is just to just to hang out and hang out with people, you know. Well, I'm glad to hang out with you guys. I miss you guys. Of course. Yeah, yeah, Even though I saw you guys yesterday, but still. Right. <laughs> it's always different on the weekend. Mm-hmm. You get to push it in a little bit deeper. And turn it around on the weekend. <coughs> My God. Oh, that shit was so funny. Yeah. There you go. Hey. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. That's awesome. Not too much back. movement on the head, though. Like, uh, it the goes whole body over... needs extension. <laughs> yeah, 
like the head moves over. Uh, it's, it's double jointed. It has that. What did that guy said? The giggity, giggity goo, giggity go, giggity neck. <laughs> it's got the extra throat scrump diddly on shit. Yeah, but go go extend no neck. Steve, nice. Steve, looking at your ammo night. That shit looks tight, brother. Oh shit. He's out there. He's out there still. Yeah, it's looking good. Nice. And uh, Mr. Aaron Simons weathered as his uh, 3D printed uh, Titanfall mech. Oh, hell yeah. Looking real nice. He's got those uh, weathering pigments like all on point. There you go. Titanfall's another good idea for uh, any kind of mech inspiration. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a great game, too. Well, part two is a lot the better. Spec- yeah, with the story. Ooh. Yeah, dude, that story. Oh, yeah. I, this. I got it just with the story. Yes, sir. Ju- every time I play that game, I just like saying, "Stand by for Tamfall." <laughs> Stand by for Stand by for Tamfall. Stand by. Now you guys aren't gonna be super duper shocked by this. <laughs> yeah, but not nope, with Tamfall. Not shocked. <laughs> what is this? It's an <laughs> I'm gonna switch it over to the me face. Is that called a b buick? Buick? A buick? No, that's a car. A buick. Um, nice hardcover. I got this uh strand for twenty bucks. Oh, the strand? Yeah, baby. Nice. It's cool though. I mean, it has like I really great renderings of um of the basic ones, basic mechs, and you know your pilots and stuff like that from Sorry. from Titanfall. Good okay. like uh, world building stuff. Like I always love looking at like this is my favorite part about Destiny, playing Destiny mm-hmm. Two especially, was that the world oh, was so yes. grimy and chippy and weathered. It was wonderful, mm-hmm. and it was a fun game to play. Go pew pew with the guns. Pew pew. Um, I mean, I only have a few art books. I have the Deus Ex Machina book. Oh, this is good. Um, oh, hell oh, yes. Very few. Yeah, right? More. Oh, guns. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Get that pew pew. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Oh, yeah. The Borderlands good book. Borderlands 2 book is really, really good for guns, too, obviously. Borderlands. Explosions! Uh, yeah, Torg. Um, Those are some good guns, though. Torg, Torg, be fucking shit up. Yeah, yeah, that's why I made the shotgun. Yeah. Get my bullets that explode, by Torg. Yeah, bullets that explode. Yeah, so there's there's more. Here we go. There's more about the Titans in the front. Nice. So nice dude. It's a lot. The book is actually a lot more like world and. Uh, like detail and stuff than it is like uh, just like you know uh, mecha mecha porn or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it does have a lot of awesomeness to it though. This is exactly the one. This is one that Aaron's building right now. Mm. I want one. <clears throat> Me too. It's cool shit. I also have the Halo. I also have a really cool Halo book too. Um, it's like all spaceships and stuff like that. So. Uh, right. You should take it off me though, because I'm gonna turn around and just gonna be my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the camera. <laughs> there we go. Take it off yourself. Take it off yourself, <laughs> baby. Take it off yourself. You got it. Take go. it off yourself. I don't know what I'm saying. Question. <laughs> Anyone selling an OGPG Gramps, preferably snapped? Hmm. This man's trying to get so, this, this, this man's trying to get a conversion kit. <laughs> I do not know. That's rad. Oh man, I'm done with the oils. I'm so it's so weird how it's like I was ready to quit when I had only two parts left to do and it's just like what the hell's wrong with me sometimes? Yeah, it happens. I just need a refresher. Need a, need a breathe. Just mm-hmm. All the way there at the end. Just like that. A little reprieve. Yeah, but Miguel, definitely check the Facebook marketplace. People be selling shit all the time. Man. Yeah, all the time. Be careful of scammers, too. All the time. 
me. Yes, careful with scammers. How do you know who's a scammer? Uh, it's a hard one. Definitely pay through goods and services on PayPal. Mm-hmm. So you dispute that shit of anything. What? What do you mean, what? <laughs> What? They dispute that shit Oh, you mean if you're if you're being scammed, you can dispute it? Yeah, mm -hmm. so you can dispute and it. And pay attention to the time window for a dispute. Because yeah. some people will push it off like, yeah, next week, next week. And then next, you know, when you want to dispute it, they're like, oh, you have exceeded the 30 or 60 day uh, complaint window, whatever the fuck. Yo, Manny Stone from experience. That's, that's what that sounds no, like. No, 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 no. I've been reading it. I've been reading mm -hmm. that shit. I'm like, damn, man, that's fucked up. No, if if it takes more than two weeks, I'm like, yo, man, that's a problem. Word. But then again, you know, I've been waiting a year, so. You know what? I I never got to see, I never got to show this. Um, let me switch over to the face cam real quick. I got this in the mail. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking dope, man. I want one of those. Which one is that one? Is that the flag? Is it the two? Uh... Oh, no, that's not... Yeah, the flag of Titan. There you go. Oh, nice. Yeah, you got the pointy one. I got the... Yeah. Uh, I got the stocky yeah, one. You got the pointy one. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. The, I got the one without the fucking legs. It's mostly... It's mostly leg. It's got this tiny ass torso. <laughs> yeah, it's a little kit. I started putting it together... Um, I think New Year's. I started putting mine together, and I worked on it for a couple of hours, and then just, like, Fell off. <laughs> I, I took out the tail skirt real quick just to look at it, and I compared it to my wound wart down there, and I was like, "Yep, that's 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 tiny, tiny." <laughs> that's that's small boy. Whoop. Uh -huh. What you? Baby, I got it. What you need? We got three days to provide tracking info. Show me it is. Yeah. Uh, if not, you dispute that you get your money back. Fuck yeah. You're right, Bill. I mean, sometimes they have legit explanations as to why something hasn't shown no, up. No, there's no I, reason for that shit. I can be, I can be understandable, especially when they've already like sent out a tracking number and shit. And like, okay, I get it. Sometimes they don't. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they don't give you info. They just take your money and dip. Yeah. That's when you bring the wrath of God upon them. <laughs> you know, Steve, which ones did they have? The one that Pabs brought out? Because that's the one they owned. It's for our respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucking uh, 10 p.m. over here. I'm going to have dinner. Okay, Julio. I'll see you guys on the flippity flops. Flip flops. And you don't stop. <laughs> see you later, man. Bye. Have fun. See you later, Julio. <laughs> later. All right. Quiet time with Brian and Pabs. Yeah. I mean, if anybody has any questions out there. Do we have Don't a caller on the line? Don't ask us. Don't ask us. <laughs> we ain't got the answer. Uh, Bill says, okay, it sounds like a good time to have lunch. There you go. Second lunch, everybody. Would you crash my YouTube? Go ahead. I doubt it. Mario wants to jump in. Okay. Oh, he's drunk. Oh, no. No, drunk Mario thought to get a D. <laughs> Is it not? No. <laughs> Is that a good idea? No. I mean, it's going to be funny as hell, but no. <laughs> he's going to regret it. It's forever on the internet. Oh, shit. He's going to be partying about his mommy. Mommy, I only have five years room. Oh, Jesus. Interesting design. Yeah, did you guys watch that uh, Post Malone uh, video thing for Pokemon? 
I huh? did not. I did. What was that about? He did like a virtual like concert and shit, uh, celebrating oh. Pokemon, and uh, he did his own rendition of "I Only Want to Be with You" from Pony and the Blowfish. Oh, okay. Yeah, it That's was cool. It was cool. Very clean. Nothing like off the original. Like like far off the original. He stayed true to it. Good old uh, you and me. We are from different worlds. Yep. You and me. You like to laugh at me when I look at other girls. <laughs> you like to laugh at me when I look at other girls. You don't dance, you don't sing. I love you, but you won't even wear my brain. You don't know what I do. But you don't smell like food. You can call me a fool. All right, so this stuff gets to get clear coded. Never now. Never now. I'll do it tomorrow. All right, yeah, you definitely need a break, man. I know you've been going hard on it, but you know, I got time too. Yeah, since it's not rush. Got, yeah, since I got pushed a little bit, all the oil's done. I can just let them chill and get. I mean, not that I have to worry about them. They already don't have any linseed in them, so they'll dry really quick. But that was definitely a cool tip. Oh yeah, I don't know anything about that? Cool. Glad to help. I learned it from Mr. Mike Rinaldi. It is a huge help. Mm -hmm. If anything, the problem with it is <clears throat> the oil actually dries a little fast. So you have to work quickly. Well, that was the same palette from yesterday, right? Yeah. It's actually the same palette that I've been working off of since uh, Thursday or Wednesday. Hello. Yeah, I think I made it Wednesday. I can't remember. Yeah, I did. I made it Wednesday because I left it in the fridge. That's what I do is I take the uh, take the cardboard. I make uh, I make it into a palette. Put the oils on it. I let it chill out. It gets saturated like that. When I'm done using it for the night, I just throw it in. Like, just a little Tupperware. Doesn't matter what it is. And then I just throw it in the fridge. And uh, it's good for a handful of days. It can li live in the fridge for probably up to about a week before the paint really gets too difficult to use. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, Brandon, exactly. And that's been the main issue with oil paint, too, for a lot of modelers throughout the years. They don't want to take it and use it because the linseed oil or the carrier in the, the pigment carrier takes a really long time to uh, to evaporate. So making that uh, pull it back out just right here in the trash. Making this uh, swatch that you can see, like, it's just super duper soaked. And you can see it's even starting to bleed through the backside. That's how much oil there isn't like honestly when i when this stuff here then this this color this like tannish more of a tan color came out it was just a, a sloopy mess it was just disgusting and gross but you know the next morning it's perfect i can use this now i mean it, it's all still good i can just grab a brush go into it you just get like the tiniest little bit on the end of your brush Boop. good to go Boop, indeed Boop. And then if it's a little bit dry, you just add a little bit of filler to it, and then you can get see like that. Look how great that wash is! Look at how fucking beautiful that wash is, dudes. Oh yeah, right. And then that wash will dry in fifteen minutes, as what? opposed to doing an oil wash with like a thinner on regular oil paint. And so yeah, actually, yeah, it's already starting to dry around the edges. So <clears throat> it works really really well. It's just some some different techniques out there. Um, those the Rinaldi Studio Press books are very, very wordy, but like worth it. Um, there's a lot to read in those those little ass books. Um, very valuable information, though. There we go. Heads finally on. I'm not as fast as a worker as Manny over here, so. <laughs> 
Hey, look at this one. There you go. You're about the, you're about at the same uh, stage. Yeah. <laughs> this is a little bit lighter than probably the Stein. I just made the uh, on mechanism. I only put the head together last night because I took that time to make to paint the eyes and like make them reflective inside. Speaking of eyes, actually, I want to show this real quick because I never got to show it. Um, mechanism. I'll show off the barber so real quick. Let's zoom in. There you go. And then uh, I want to show the eyes real quick if I can. I just take that make, and then make yourself bigger. You make it bigger. And then we'll focus. And I'm going to grab this light box right here. I'll turn oh. it on. And then you should be able to see the eyes right there. Just kind of gleaming. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, it's the same effect on the, uh, the chest here. There you go. That's a that's a candy red. Don't say mm -hmm. don't let don't don't hear look how hear uh, hear that. But. Yeah, in essence, that's what I did for my eyes on my Stein too. Is they got candy painted because the back was chrome. Yeah, uh, the, the back of the clear part was chrome, and the top was painted with the transparent red. What yeah. kind of red did you use on that one though, Pavs? Is that uh, lacquer or what is that? Yeah, everything here is lacquer. So I used um, I used Guy Notes uh, silver plating, um, just like I guess it's just called silver plate. Or premium silver plate, I guess. And then uh, I used uh, Gaia Notes Clear Red and Gaia Notes Clear Green. Those mm -hmm. two pieces right there. So that's that's going to emulate the rest of the, the, the build. And yeah, it just went, it just goes in nice and smooth. Um, the obviously the the silver plate isn't isn't as reflective as say as a uh, multi chrome or regular chrome, but it does right. give it like a a, a nice like. Uh, Titanium, almost titanium finish, and then you put that that color over it, and it just it just gives it like a almost like a, a very clear smoky look, but it has that reflectiveness from the the clear. And then I hit it with a, a Gaia Notes EX three uh, cl uh, gloss clear, and that just gives it that extra reflectiveness, mm -hmm. that extra shine. Yep. Yeah, I just brushed on my uh, GX gloss onto the eyes specifically, and the uh, the rest of the plate was just painted matte black. Oh, fucking awesome, dude! Yeah, it's simple. Yeah, I mean, some of the some of the most simplest things, you you, you get some really good results out of. You know, it, it's it's about hitting those those basics and hitting the you know, not overthinking sometimes some things and getting that getting that effect right. True. I wish I had gotten some clear red from Moto. Um, I grabbed blue, orange, green. Um, It'll have blue, orange, green, and then like a smoky, uh, was it like exhaust effects color? But I don't I'm have red. <laughs> I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm thinking about picking up some of that moto red just because I want to see if it's a lighter shade than the, the Gaia <laughs> stuff because the Gaia stuff is very dark. And I want to see if it's if it's like slightly, just a, just a little bit lighter. Yeah, what I used was um, the this ammo acrylic crystal. Oh, right. And the little bit of ammo I still have left. But this is just the... They're the red, crystal red they have. They have a bunch of crystal colors that I picked up. I even got this was crystal glass. <laughs> uh, so um, Steve over here just says Brian Mission Models just came out with a transparent red and green. Oh, I believe it. <clears throat> I haven't. Uh, I just got a bunch of stuff from Zach over at uh, Galactic not too long ago. I do but actually have to pick up a. I might do another Galactic run. We'll see. And I, oh, I'm thinking about picking up that premium red that they um they had last time I checked. Curious to see if they still have it. Is that like oh. a guy or is that a finishers? What is it's it? A, it's a guy, yeah. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a, Brian, it's a guy. How do you apply that crystal red from ammo? Because I have the same one. I just brush paint it. You brush paint it as well? Yeah, I just brush painted it. I tried to airbrush it and it kept on dunking up the system. Oh, um, yeah, you have. What did you? What were you cutting it with? Water. Yeah, that's right. I yeah, use water no. and flow improver. That's what I needed. It flow improver. Okay. Might not be a bad. I always use it now. Um, actually, uh, Bailey on the Cutting Mat podcast mm -hmm. was talking about it, going to model shows and how like there are traditional armor modelers that will only thin with flow improver, so they use Vallejo and flow improver only. Wow. Um, like Vallejo, like the uh, model airs, like yeah, like mm. these guys. 
and flow improver only, which is wacky. So, but I do That's use this for, this is like my poly substitute. So. Hmm. <clears throat> Good to know. Thank you, Brian. I didn't realize it was my poly substitute until I was talking to the scale model mojo podcast guys. Uh, model, yeah. Scale model mojo. Model, I don't know. Anyways. Um, yeah. I was talking to those guys and they were like, cause I was talking about mission models, what I use for my thinning ratio. And they were like, Oh, go talk to this guy over here at this uh, website. He'd be interested in knowing recipe. And then they were like, Oh, I'm, you know, do you, what do you don't use like any silica or poly in your, in your mix? And I'm like, uh, <laughs> Didn't know I was supposed what? to. <laughs> I just what? did it the way I just did it the way I always did it, and it works really, really well. So I just, you know, I don't know. I think mm. Steve said something to me about that too when he was talking about getting some mission stuff, whether or not I use the the thinner, or the uh, carrier, or whatever it is that they use. It's because you're a wizard, Harry. I guess it must be. You're a wizard, man. I swear to God. Oh God, why aren't you calling me again? Oh, that Mario's calling me. <laughs> I want to hang out, man. Let me hang out with these guys. Pure magenta. I don't want to pick up some pure magenta. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Metallic yellow. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Are you around galactic right now? I am. <laughs> nice. I'll never pick up paints, man. That's all. I, that's all I ever want. Yeah, no, the the David Union tools are really good if you're into tools. But I I've been I've been really I've been really wanting to pick up um the the auto sander that that you mm -hmm. put right there. Yeah, the four hundred. They um oh it's finally in stock. Oh, yeah, shit. they were out for a while. <laughs> it's a hundred dollars. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, yeah, but it's worth every fucking penny. <laughs> no lie. Just like my my uh, the five fifty is was like I don't know what it was like a hundred hundred something bucks for it. It would it would just make my life so much easier, you know. Exactly, you're paying for you know the extra years of life you get out of your hands. All of the sanding and the resin stuff is just. That's what, I mean, I went. This is what I was using. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm using. <laughs> right. It has two speeds. Fast, faster. <laughs> and it doesn't really want to shut off very often. But it's good for simple things. However, it's not super duper versatile. You can't adjust the speed and you can't go backwards. So Steve says, uh, yep, I use the poly and have my own formula that sprays and levels really nice. There you go. Perfecto. Uh, and then Steve says... Uh, Chris, if they don't have the color online, I can stop by the store and see if they have it in stock. They stock guy in store too. Yeah, um, Steve, I, they have it in stock. I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm not hesitating about that. I'm hesitating about the, the auto sanders because it's, it's 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 pretty pricey. Close above what? <laughs> Brandon, what do you want to close above? Can we get a close up of that, Brian? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I think he's, he's maybe the the your David Union tool. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me. I'll make you bigger. Oh, there you go. I'll make you bigger. There you go. Ta da! And then it's basically. So yeah. power switch. And then. Woo, listen to that. Nice and slow. Beauty. Yeah. And I can go the other direction. That's beautiful. And variable. It sounds like a, <laughs> a, a drill from like the dentist. Uh, Brandon yeah. says also he wants to see uh, the flow improver pulse up. Oh, sure. Here you go. And you got that flow. <sighs> It's got that flow system, the soul system. Yeah, I, I got one of these when I first started airbrushing, right? A little one. And it has lasted. I just broke out this one, which I've been sitting on and like backstock for quite a while now. <clears throat> uh, John Lennon's back. What'd you miss? Everything. Everything. You miss Julio leaving? 
Um, yeah. says, a uh, hundred dollars makes me easy. I know, dude. You know, so any anytime somebody give, uh, gives me a hundred dollars, I'm like, uh, how far do you want me to bend over? Uh, do you want over the table? <clears throat> yeah. Well, there's knees or toes <laughs> options. Uh, yeah, Brandon, it, the power supply is really, really small. It is super duper nice. Um, very stand like or just a general standard. Uh, and then Miguel also has a question for color experts. How do I mix a mint green? Mm, here you go. Later uh, so for me, um, so I mean, what you, you're looking for specifically for finishes green. mint green, like a cerulean green. Uh, oh. Does it so, make have a green like that? Yes, it does. They do have a mint uh, a mint green like that. Um, but if you don't have that and you only have like Mister Color or you know something like that, um, you you're, you should start with a, a a green and a white base. So get that green kind of uh, as neutral as possible. So so obviously the green starts off at a high contrast. Hit it with a white. Make it as as uh, as white as possible. Green, right. Right, pass. Yeah, and then yeah, and then you start hitting it with a with like a, a royal or a cobalt blue, like drop by drop, and then just start mm -hmm. mixing it, seeing if you get that right consistency, uh, and then hit a couple of drops of red in there. I would do and a robin's egg blue. Okay, I have robin's this. egg blue too. Well. Mm -hmm. I have this oh. uh, interior turquoise green from Ammo. Yep. Yeah, so I that's that's. I had to rewrite color, that stuff on there, but yeah, yeah. this is the. Uh, so, Pretty good. There you go. Yeah, and then you just bowl, kind of a couple, yeah. you know, uh, you know, make it one third white and mix that up, and then just try to get it to as bright and, and as minty as you want it to be. The black toolbox. Yeah. I should not have done that. The paint's in there, right? All right. Hold on one second. I'm going to tell you exactly what green I use. And that is no, not this one. Let's see if I can see the name. Oh my god, the fumes in here! Holy shit! Woo! Okay, I got like I got my Mister Hobbies in here, Mister Color, and then I have my ammo. No, that's dull green. That's not it. Nope, nope, nope. My color. I've been working over oil palette in a small vat of thinner for a couple of days. I feel you on the fumes, Manny. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, look, that's that clear crystal red. Yeah, that's the one. All right. Where are you? I, I know I don't have to give that one to you. No, no, no. Nope, nope. Where the fuck? They're not in here. Oh, wow. You know what? I still have pigments I got to do, too. There you go. I haven't even touched this pigment yet. I got two of them from Komodo, and then two of them. One glitter pigment. And another purple glittery pigment. It's pretty nice. But this uh, this pigment right here uh, goes through like the rainbow spectrum. It's pretty crazy. This one right here. Can you see it? Like the rainbow? Yeah. Effect on it. It's oh, nice. Crazy. But it's like big flakes, so. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if I could like grind it a bit more, break it down. Um, what the hell is that green? No, that's interior green. This is protective marine. It has to be one of these. It has to be this one. Light gray green, I think, is the one that I use uh, for uh, for my Dantaleo. Yeah, the light gray green, and it's almost a bit minty, but it depends on uh, what you use for your primer. You know, and how thick you go with your primer, and that is all. Sorry for the long draw out. <laughs> don't worry about it, man. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, let me just check something real quick. Because um, uh, Miguel, I don't, I don't know if you're able to order from Galactic, but they do have that cerulean blue and the the peppermint in stock right now. From who? From Galactic. No, finishers. no, no, no. Oh, no, finishers. No, no. Oh, oh, cool. Yeah. So I might get a different interest, depending. Right yeah, now, if I'm you're still... it's there. Uh. I, I I know I got the the Gaia ones coming in. Uh, Miguel is asking when priming for a mint green. I uh, what should you use? Like a, a white? You can use a white. Um, for Leo, my Leo, I used a gray. 
but it was yeah. like very light on the gray. It was. I wanted light. to. I, I wanted my my like for the the dynamis. Um, I wanted mine to be a little bit more muted, so I went with a gray primer. Yeah, but it still looks. Yeah. Baby blue, if you really want it to shine, like mix go with like a right mix your own. I like to mix my own primers, so like mix like a, a really vibrant blue if you roll, like and make it hella light in the center. Like, because you know me, I pre highlight everything, so mm -hmm. um, that's what I would do, and then that would make your green really, really sparkle. Maybe what? Um, I'm gonna all of this video. You there you go. So, I wanted mine to be a little bit more muted. So I, I be used. Oh, that's spray. still really stark, though. That looks really nice. Yeah, yeah. It's still, it's still, it still pops, right? But like yeah. when I initially, I initially used a white primer, and I was like, man, this is too, like, in your face. So I just wanted it to be a little bit more pleasing, a little less, like, strong. So, and then obviously with a neutrality. Yeah. No, I might, I might submit this to Critical Bills. This was, this was during its prime, oh, which yeah. is, I don't know what it looks like now. So, I might, I might submit this into Critical Bills so you guys can. Uh, Rip it. Tear it apart, yeah. Sweet. Miguel, I have one of those ones as well. He's talking about the Sickler Studio SDE Starks. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that too. <laughs> yep. Me too. Yeah, Steve, that. that's, this is what it's supposed to look like. Freaking, I don't know what they ha what happened, but they, they are t way too afraid of, of touching it over there. I don't know. Just go over there and, and fix it for them. <laughs> it's like a four-hour drive, man. <laughs> four-hour yeah. drive, Jesus. One way? One way. Yeah. Yeah. That's like going from New York to Boston. No, no thank you. It's, no, thank it's you. a little different. Out there, it's a lot of overland. True. The I do. Overland. I did. I did really love this build, though. This was a. This was a. A, a really fun one. We got to mess with a lot of things on this thing. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'll get it back someday. Hmm. Uh, and then uh, Charles Princess says uh, he came to Michigan and got wasted. Misses his papa. I bet he does. Mm -hmm. I bet he does. I'll, I'll, I'll get it back at some point and. Maybe I'll, I'll fix up anything that's broken on it. I, I have no idea, honestly, Steve. Um, what's broken on it? What you know? What's what's why it's the way it is currently? But we'll get it back at some point. Yeah. Well, we huh. rested that one kit for June <laughs> with those two kits for June, right? The ones he had in uh, Carolina. I don't know. Which one? I don't remember. <laughs> remember the? I was telling you about it. The, the, my uh, my friend hit me up and was like, "Hey, what about these things for June? Does he want them? Oh. The guy wants to take them." That's right. Yeah. And then I, I hit up June. I was like, "Hey, man, these guy, this guy wants to take your kits." <laughs> He's like, "No, I, don't, I want, I want them back." <laughs> so I'm trying to swipe your shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, so Brandon says, uh, "I drive three hours there and back. I'm in Grand Rapids, probably thirty time, thirty times a year. Four is not bad at all." However, man, I have to drive through Chicago. Oh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, uh, what's the lakeshore, whatever it is, the drive on the side there? Just take that right up. It's so pretty. It's pretty until you look forward and you're like, oh, man, look at all these fucking cars in front of you. <laughs> yeah, I never see that in Brooklyn, never. Nope. <laughs> no. It doesn't take me an hour and a half to go 15 miles. To the house in freaking Lawrence Harbor. <laughs> Big, oof. Big oof. Uh, Steve says, Chris, invite me to dinner and I'll bring the dynamis. <laughs> so he's bribing me. Are you bribing me? Uh, come on now. He's like, he's like, I heard about this adobo chicken. <laughs> Actually, I, I was planning on making that tomorrow. Well, there you go. go. <laughs> it's a date. <laughs> Take a break. Seen. Hi, I have a perfect example right here. No, they aren't seen. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's nice to have a fully built model right next to you of the same thing you're building to know. Uh, Brandon B says, talk to Dylan. Have him pose it right. Well, I, I mean, I don't know Dylan. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't even know which which Damn. which store it's in. Um, you son but... of a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd love to. I'd love to you see it actually this right? Even if it, even if it was just kind of like kneeling, I'd be happy. But that's fine. It is what it is. Logan, you're so random. Logan's like, I'm gonna look at this video and learn how to beatbox. I'm like, All right, go ahead. Cool. Hey, that's a that's a that's a skill. Very random. That is a freaking skill. Mm -hmm. I can't. I'm a white boy. Oh, I mean, I'm not, but I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't either. <laughs> a lot of Asian dudes can beatbox really well. Yeah, well, apparently they can. Uh, not me. Nope. <laughs> it's all right. I got other skills I'm good at. To pay the bills. I got no idea. All right, guys. So I think we're at, we're at two hours and seventeen minutes. I think it's time to let's wrap it up real quick. Good wrap. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so you know, this uh, let's let's go ahead and go through the round table real quick, and uh, we'll start with uh, sorry, Brian over here. Oh, swoopity doo, swappledy dodo. Uh, how what's up, dudes? <clears throat> Thanks for hanging out tonight. Um. It was fun just chilling, doing some work, getting some things done, answering some questions, and just having a nice, relaxing evening. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Always fun, man. Always fun. Sweet. And sweet. All right. Uh, I'm just finishing up the arm. Dang, the, dude. The fucking detail is giving me so many ideas for Ninja. Oh, God. Those, those biceps will look real nice on Ninja. Yeah, they would if I did a mass degree. Yeah, maybe I will. Who knows? Just remake them. Just All remake right. Them. Yeah. Okay. So, um, how are you doing, guys? Uh, thank you for coming to the first official critical chill. Critical, what, what are we? Gonna, what are we calling this? I don't know. I just called it critical chill. All right. Critical we're we're chill. just chilling. Chilling like a Crit villain. <laughs> Critically. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I appreciate you guys coming in, hanging out with us. Uh, who knows? Maybe the next one will have a different lineup or the same lineup with additions. That'd be pretty yeah. cool. It's like wild, man. Remember, hashtag critical chill on Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> Twitter. Go hit the Twitter. All right. That's it, guys. All, All right, right, man. Thank you, Manny. Thank you for joining us, man. All right. And to me. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you again, as Manny says. Thank you for joining us uh, on Critical Chill Episode 1. Um, let us know if you want us to do more of these, because I mean, I, you know, I, I've always strived to do content that had, that had worth. You know, usually I'm just like by critical builds, it always had some kind of purpose. But this one is just, you know, let's just build and talk and and um, hang out. And you know, I'm not, I'm not too worried about what's being said and, and all that stuff. So, if you guys want us to continue this, just let us know. Um, and again, you know, if we if we can, if we can do it, <clears throat> if we can do it on Saturday, then next Saturday, then. Um, you know, we'll, we'll shoot for it, but only if people want us to do it, uh, you know, and um, again, the, uh, the, it's all words, baby. And to me, it's a fail shirts are available. Um, the link is on in the description on YouTube. Uh, so if you guys want to check those out, please do. There's also a whole bunch of hoodies and t-shirts and, and hats there. And again, critical builds, um, we'll be back for episode five, um, March 27th with special guest Tex Marquis. So um, that'll be a fun one. Definitely check it out. Then, and uh, yeah, uh, I guess I would. Oh, also, real quick, um, Zach Aurelius' uh, clean versus weathered uh, competition is in full swing. Um, if you guys haven't entered yet, uh, what, what are you waiting for, man? Like, you know, do, do make it. Make some good stuff. Yeah, make some cool do. stuff. Um, you know, uh, all of the information is both in USA Gundam stores and Zach Aurelius' Facebook page as well. He made a video, he also made a video on it on, um, on his channel. So definitely check it out if you guys can. Uh, and yeah, with that, guys, I want to thank I want to thank you guys for watching us. Have a good night, and uh, we'll see you uh, hopefully in the next one. Peace. Bye. Bye. You can't see me. You can't see me. <laughs> <laughs>